Heroes of Azeroth collide in today's Celebrity D&D. Declare your allegiance as the Horde and Alliance take up arms in this special World of Warcraft-themed campaign. I'm Terry Crews, and today I'm fighting for the Horde! Another modern folk hero enters our realm of adventure in Celebra D&D. The sting of the Alliance's attack on the Undercity of Lordaeron and the losses suffered there still sting. The Horde is renewed with fury and need to gain the upper hand in this escalating conflict. The times of peace are over now, and with the wounded planets scattering the powerful resource Azerite across the sea-locked islands east of the Maelstrom, swift recovery of this material is the only means of gaining the upper hand in this conflict and preventing the Alliance from wiping you and your people out. I'm Terry Crews, Thodak the Blacksmith, the Maghar Orc Warrior, and we're gonna crush some Alliance skulls. Hi, my name is Ashley Birch, and I am playing Elvis, the undead mage, who hates most things. Hello, I'm Marisha Ray, and I'm gonna be playing a goblin shaman named Ritz, the Ritz, and I'm gonna be putting it on. You three were handpicked by your war chief, Sylvanas having seen your talents for warfare firsthand in the Battle of the Undercity, and sent under the leadership of your captain, Thodak, to scout and secure as much of this powerful Azerite as possible and help bring victory to the Horde. You helped establish the war camp at the ancient capital of the Zandalar Empire, and following rumors of a discovered landmass rife with Azerite, made for the distant waters to seek your glory. Your ship now emerges from a half a day in a dark storm, battered but still seaworthy, as your goblin navigator Sheldman shouts from behind his spyglass, Hey, hey! Island ahead, Captain! There, at the front of the ship, you can see as he's kind of pulling back and shrinking his spyglass, pointing out there to the left, similar size and, uh, let's say, racial history, we have the Ritz. Yeah, that's right, I turn and I say, Captain, why'd you have to bring Sheldon? Everyone hates Sheldon. Hey, don't give me any bull poop on this, you all right? You know what you did. We'd be lost if we weren't on me out front. All right, don't take this home. We're on, a, we're on a mission, all right? I know your wife. Just keep that in mind. Don't you dare <laughs> tell her anything. <laughs> kind of a ratty-looking pinstripe tux. No shoes, though. <laughs> and an oversized top hat. That's what they're called. It's a little slouchy. It's one side, because, you know, it's hard to find a... Top hat fits this head on this tiny body. They try to give you a child size, but it's just, you know, it just doesn't work out. <laughs> Is it as tall as you are tall? It's like the the three quarters rule. It's, I'd say it's like a third of my size. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it adds like another head uh -huh. to me. You know? It's nice, it's deceiving. It makes me feel a little bit more powerful. Mm -hmm. But you know, anything you guys want, if you guys got any ailments, you guys got a headache, you guys got a little heartburn, I can help you out there. If you guys need to kick someone's ass, I can help you out there too. See, more of an, a new age spirituality shaman, if you will. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, shaman, you got a, got a little aloe. I'm good. Got some Onion cream, it's great. <laughs> I can help you out. Do you keep anything in that big hat? Do you have? Ooh, that? Awesome. We'll find so out. So many things. <laughs> so many things. Okay. On, on the back end of the front of the ship, kind of arms crossed in the corner, uh, watching this argument between the two goblins, we have Elvis. Hi, I'm Elvis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I feel nothing because I'm undead, uh, the only thing that even remotely sparks any sort of interest for me is killing things. I also, uh, strangely, even though I, I don't feel much, I have a, I share a hatred for uh, Sheldman. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that I can feel. Uh, I'm kind of like uh, if Sid Vicious was mixed with an emo kid uh, that spends a lot of time on Hot Topics. I'm very, uh, Ooh, that's good. yeah, you know, too much, very oily hair that's like kind of weirdly spiked. I think I'm cool, I'm not actually. I kind of like to hang back. Uh, You're undead. So yeah, I'm undead, yeah. so I'm just sort of like, you know. <laughs> I look like Sid Vicious reanimated. So imagine, <laughs> imagine ah, that. That's a lot. <laughs> I dig it. Uh, as the shouting match is transpiring and, and you're watching oh, your loathing of uh, Sheldman is kind of <laughs> just burning in your chest, you hear the heavy footfalls of Captain Thodak as he arrives at the front of the ship. 
I am Thodak the blacksmith. I love saying that. I want to say that. Uh, very, yes, you guys are pretty small. You're undead, you're tiny, but I'm very, very large. Uh, I have uh, arms full of burn marks from mm. making weapons for years for all of my constituents, but my favorite one is the one that I carry, the great axe. And I have dreadlocks that go down all the way to the, the middle of my back, but I've got it all tied up in this big, giant, dreadlocked ponytail. And I'm ready to find this Azariah. Thodak is so much cooler than us. Uh, I know. <laughs> Don't tell him we think that, though. Your Magar Orc uh, captain steps yes. up, you know, muscular and ready, staring off as the island slowly approaches close by. Uh, Shelbin goes, so, uh, uh, Captain, uh, which actually, which direction you want to come in from this? It looks like there's an inlet, maybe a little bit to the north. Uh, uh, what do you want to do? Do we see any lights anywhere on that island at all? Make a perception check. All okay. right. Just roll a d20 and add your perception. First roll. Okay. First okay. roll. Okay. Here we go. First roll. Eleven perception plus four. Four. So a fifteen. Ooh, fifteen. That's great. Fifteen. So even though Sheldon had his spyglass, he's like. I don't know if I see anything out that way, Captain. And midday, by the way, as the sun is kind of reaching its zenith, you glance off to the side and you can see already what looks to be a little spark of, of some light right on the shore where you're headed. All right. Well, I, I don't see anything. Sheldman. I know, classic uh, Sheldman. Spyglass and you didn't even see anything. Come on, yeah. man. What? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to them. They're just trying to, you know, climb the ladder, if you know what I mean, Captain. Well, you know, since we just came out of this uh, this storm, and uh, we're finally here, we gotta go. We're going. Yeah. All right, straight in it is. Move it on in. Keep it going. And at which point, the ship makes its way closer and closer towards this beach of which you signified. You can see the blue ocean inlet that surrounds this area is, is currently held in by jagged rocks. There's a very kind of a, a, a tight knit squeeze to make it in there without damaging your boat. The approach is somewhat dubious, but you eventually lay down anchor, bring out your smaller uh, boats, and row your way to shore. Um, there meeting you is a, a shaded, quite beautiful beach, actually. Uh, it's like a fragment of paradise amongst the uh, tense oceans you've been fording on the way here. Uh, the jungle line is about 40 feet ahead of you, and this secluded little lagoon would make a perfect place for a little encampment. Mm -hmm. uh, at which point, uh, another boat comes up behind you, and Sheldon comes out. It's not too bad. Uh, Captain, we setting up camp here, or we're uh, looking for another locale? All right, what do you guys think? I hate beaches. <laughs> yeah, you're undead. <laughs> you know, but the, the live <laughs> people here yeah, really like a it. beach. We can come back, we can get ourselves a sangria after we go at the end of the day, get our ass right. I think mm -hmm. it's nice. Mm -hmm. And what kind of sand are we talking about? Like, is it soft sand, is it rocky? You reach down and kind of scoop your hand into it, and it's a very soft, fine sand, actually. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's very white, uh, bleached. Um, it's, it's pretty comfortable for, for what you're expecting. Usually, in a lot of these islands you've gone to before have been somewhat tumultuous uh, uh, in the times that you've spent there, so this is kind of a nice, nice greeting to find such a fine beach. That's it. Well, I'd say, you know, if we haven't had this, a lot, a lot of this, then let's camp. Hey, I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, work, vacation, why not mix the two? Mm -hmm. All right, back to the ships, we're bringing the supplies over. Shelman gets back on, and as you guys kind of begin to, to scope out the space, they begin taking supplies off the ship, and tents start going up, barricades start being built, just in case anyone tries to attack or assault from the actual jungle line. Uh, in the meantime, you glance up, and you can see the ominous peak of a dark mountain that seems to uh, loom over the center of this island in the distance. What time of day is it, roughly? Uh, by now, it's a little past noon, so the, the, the hot sun above you is starting okay. to bleed down. Even though it is shaded in this area, as the sun goes high, the shadow uh, retracts to some of the nearby rocks and trees, and now you're starting to feel the heat. Uh, particularly in your armor, as you start putting it on to prepare for any sort of defenses, uh, you can feel yourself sweat beneath the metal, but you've you've gone through worse. This is nothing to you. That's it. That's it. Doesn't smell good in here, I'll no. tell you that. No, no. <laughs> so, you know, or, orcs aren't known for their pleasant smell no. sometimes in the battlefield. Uh -huh. And again, either are undead especially. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. like the musk. I say comparatively, you should probably have more armor on for a more pleasant smell, but you know. <laughs> All right, okay. So, uh, at this point, they've set up most of the encampment. What yes. would you guys like to do? Well, you know, what I know about these islands is that the sun sets pretty fast on the equator. Maybe we should get a move on? 
Maybe see if we can find a trail up to that mountain. Yeah, I don't want to hang around here. We should probably get to where we're going. Uh, uh, you know, I agree. I mean, you know, we have the camp. If we ever you know, need to just come back and whatever, but I think we just should get started, see if we find a trail, establish it right Go away. from there. I like it. Right. As you guys are about to head in, uh, you see as this uh, kind of sallow, undead uh, shipmate comes by. He has a patch over one eye. Uh, and a, a, a dark blue bandana t tied around what remains of the flesh on his skull. Captain, word from the ship. Alliance spotted other side of the island. It looks like we're not alone. Mm. Turns around and makes his way back towards the encampment as you guys look to the tree line not but 15 feet from you. Fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this isn't just a sojourn through this island, this is now a race. Oh, I hate time challenges. Me too. Oh, they always stress me out in video games. Me too. Hypothetically, if I played them. Me too. <laughs> so, so someone else is already here doing their thing. So it would seem, at least from what the shipmates have said. Mm -hmm. So there's a, little, there's a little bit of an idea that whoever gets to the Azerite first yeah. probably is going to be the one who leaves with it. Oh, we gotta get on it then. All right. We gotta move now. Yeah. Let's go. Are you are you guys with me? Yeah, Let's I'm go. down. Let's go. All right. So as the two of you flank behind your uh, your well armored axe uh, wielding uh, <laughs> captain, so cool. you breach the outside of the jungle and head immediately into the sweltering humid heat mm. of this side of the island. Uh, you can hear already the the buzzing of insects around you, uh, and as you step through the what was once sand becomes hard dirt and root, and then begins to get a bit soft as the humidity has left the area a little more muggy than you expected. Mm -hmm. um, who's gonna be helming this journey into the jungle? Who's leading you through? Which of you? Oh, it's, got, uh, it's gotta be me. All right, go gotta ahead and make a survival me. check for me. You're, you're undead, you're little, I got this. Damn Damn right. Survival yeah. check, how does that work? <laughs> so throw that, go ahead and roll a 20-sided dice yes. and add your survival skill, which should be at the bottom of your skill. Yes, oh. and 12. 12. There we go. 18. Eight. No. Look at that. 18 with a plus four. Plus yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, gotta, I should've brought my Captain, my captain. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I guess I'm messing around. Uh. So, in, in, in following this relatively easy to follow path that your massive captain is carving through this jungle, your two tiny forms kind of skittering behind. Um, is he just like shoving aside trees? Because that's what yes, I'm imagining. Essentially, <laughs> large vines just charging through. We got, I got an axe too. Yeah, that's true. No. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't cut the tree or he just shouts at it and the tree moves out of the way. It's, uh, they're very respectful of you as you're here. Um, but as you're moving forward, uh, there is a point where all of a sudden you come to a brief clearing and there's a tension in the air. You hear no wildlife, no insects, and your sense of danger kind of clicks off as you kind of naturally put your hand up. Um, you see about a 20 foot period where there are uh, no trees. It looks like there's like soft undergrowth. And uh, as you're looking ahead, you notice that some of the vines kind of slowly pull back. They begin to kind of shift almost like slow moving snakes. And you realize, Probably a good thing that you were keeping a good watch, because you almost walked right into the center of that clearing. But you rolled pretty good on your survival, so you managed to avoid that pitfall. So these things are moving. It looks like some of these vines are slowly slithering around oh. each other. And how big was it? It's about a 20 foot clearing uh, ahead of you, about 10 feet wide. It's kind of a weirdly shaped area where none of the trees seem to have, uh, have grown naturally. And these vines are all over it, or they were, they were treating from this clearing? They're moving through it, they're moving almost through. like they're, they, they, they sensed some movement nearby and began to shift. Mm -hmm. um, but it's easy enough to walk around it. You manage to av avoid that okay. pitfall, and mm -hmm. with that you kind of nudge the rest of your party forward, and you guys continue moving around. Um, oh, good eyesight, Captain. Good. You could have taken those wines, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know you could have uh, A few moments later, about another 15 minutes or so in travel, uh, you hear some loud screeching birds up in the trees. It kind of you know, causes your ear to, to twinge a bit. Uh, you get that a bit behind you, and as humid as it is, um, have you all roll a perception check, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and roll d20, add your perception skill. Mm -hmm. 18. Eight, 19. Uh, oh, what are you rolling and what are you adding? Uh, I rolled a 12 and I'm adding six. All right. I rolled a 15 and I'm adding I'm adding one. Okay. 16. 16. <laughs> yep, and I am a 15 and I'm adding one. Great, all right, those are all good rolls. 
You guys all at the same time kind of come to this realization that for the time of day, and for as warm as this jungle was when you entered it, the temperature seems to be dropping further and further. Within every 15 or 20 foot increment, it seems to drop a few degrees. And eventually, as you, Captain, kind of come to this realization and turn to look towards your two teammates, you can see your breath in the Ooh. middle of the jungle. Okay, how, how are you reacting as you're already undead? You don't I feel alive. Feel like in fact, what the only you? person's breath who you can't see uh, would be Elvis's. <laughs> right, right. I'm cool. Like, all, you know, metaphorically, then also actually. Mm -hmm. Is this some undead stuff? Is this place haunted? Can I do a, would that be a arcana? Uh, well, th this would be actually a religion check. If you oh, want. a religion mm. check. So go ahead and roll a d20, add your religion skill. Okay, ooh, not great. <laughs> oh, no. Six? Uh, you rolled a six? I rolled a two and then added four to oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. As soon as the Ritz turns to you and asks about if it's undead, you take a glance around. No. <laughs> Weather's weird. <laughs> Get over it, Ritz. Sometimes the weather changes. As, as your undead friend is giving this description, uh, you, Thodak, watch slowly rising behind Elvis what looks to be a somewhat translucent, faint glowing blue spectral form as it just rises up. What looks to be formless for a moment radiates this cold temperature that you begin to feel even stronger at the back of your head, Elvis. You watch as the arms extend from it and you see what appears to be a spectral ghost-like entity of a troll. You can see its long, uh, kind of uh, pointed nose. You can see these large tusks emerging from its face. You see its long pointed ears and the hair kind of matted upward in almost a, uh, a tribal war formation. Uh, it has remnants of war paint strewn across its face. And as it kind of rises up behind, what do you do? Do we see this as well? Or just Thodak? Uh, right now, it's Fodak and uh, the And it's Ritz. behind you. It's behind me. It's behind you. Now, I gotta go with the shaman. What is that? What are you guys freaking out about? Behind you! Can I look behind me? <laughs> yeah, you turn around, and right there before you, you see, uh, and having your experience with the Zandalari uh, tribe, this is the spirit of a Zandalari troll. You know the whole thing I said about it not being undead? I might have been wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't always bet a thousand. Now, does the shaman know what this, you know what this is, right? Well, you've, had, you've had experience with spirits before. Some can be benevolent, some not so much. You know, maybe he's a good guy. Sometimes they don't always want to attack you. Maybe we can talk to him. <gasps> yeah, can, can you communicate? Can I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to attack him. I what? just want to attack him. Wait, wait, wait. I hate ghosts. Ah. Wait, let's talk to him, let's talk to him first. Let's talk to him. Oh, wait, wait, are you, are you trying to talk and you're trying to attack? Which, yeah, I'll defer we, to the cap. Okay, so we yeah, gotta we gotta to talk. Him. We gotta, we gotta uh, talk right. to him. Let's find out. But I want to kill something soon. No, 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 no killing. <laughs> Let's find out what what he's about. The 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 ghost troll that is like slowly crawling in your direction, face kind of filled with anger and frustration, glancing towards you. Who's gonna talk to it? Do we know what uh, language? It? Right. I'll try. I'll say, oh great troll. Ghosty poo. This is going. Please. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I call it? I drop to my knees and I go, We are not worthy. We simply cross on your land. Uh, let us pass. Please. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll say with advantage for dropping oh. to your knees and making it purely prostrate. <laughs> We're we not worthy. Persuade, persuade. With advantage. Okay, I'll take that. That 16 plus, what did you say, persuasion? Yes. <laughs> plus a minus one. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, 15. So 15. Okay, okay. That makes sense. So as, as, as the spirit that's been encroaching, its arms kind of coming out in claw-like formations, like it's, it's hungering for your presence, kind of stops yeah. at this display and goes, I be without rest, man. The final moments hold me here, stalking this land for warmth, for life. Is he gonna make us do a thing that releases him from his eternal damnation thing? 
Because I don't want to do that. (laughs) 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 You're undead and you're just not happy. Uh, I'm undead, get over it. You're uh, undead, I'm undead. uh, (laughs) The eyes of the troll spin over to you, Thodak, and say, you are all so warm. I wish to drink it in. I can no longer eat your flesh, but your spirit. And there's a moment where you see, like, in the hunger, there's also kind of a pullback. There's, there's like, an internal struggle in the moment. Can we uh, see what's going on with that? What yeah, would that check yeah. be? Uh, make an insight check if you'd like. You both could if you'd okay. like. Okay. So roll a 20 sided dice uh-huh. and add your insight. Okay. Insight. Ooh, Natty Nat 20! Oh man, I only, got a, I only got a four. And where's my insight? Uh, plus one, so it's fine. Yeah. You don't speak uh, ghost very well. No. And you're, it's, hard, it's, hard to re- it's hard to read him beyond the hungering urge of his undead nature. Um, but you looking at it can see that and being being an undead yourself, you're like, oh, he's he's dealing with the morality of you know killing and eating things or perhaps finding an out to his unending curse. Your blah, worst blah, nightmare. Blah. <laughs> can I talk to him? Yeah, then? Okay. you want, want to, what do you say? What do you need, man? What, what, what yeah, are our options yeah. here? You eat us or what? I was with my people. All right, yeah, uh-huh. Hunting the ukas <laughs> when the jungle itself swallowed me. If you can find me, give me rest somewhere on the island's waters, I would be free. And his eyes go skyward to the brief bit of light that's breaking through the canopy. He's mm. really just chewing the So wait, we gotta find this his body. Yeah, but we don't we have to get the Azerite? Well, like, no, are we trying to do a And there's this? somebody already after the Azerite. Did the vegetation have his body? I mean, did they, at, did they attack him? You can go back and check if you'd like. Because we, uh, we passed that. Is um, he in our way? Uh, he's currently like kind of blocking your passage, but you could continue to talk if you'd like. Maybe we tell him that we'll Keep an eye out as we keep pressing on. That that that, that sounds like a, a plan. Yeah. I mean, if he's, he's not eating them. us. Right. Yeah. And we know now we know what he's about. Yeah. So we can just continue going. If we find your body, we got you. I like it. You okay. know what I mean? If we find the body, mm-hmm. is that all right? We'll 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 bring it to him totally. on the way to the Azurite. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So the spirit turns and looks towards you, the captain of this group, and just kind of waiting for you to say something. Yeah, we'll get you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, no, no, no. You, 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 you ghost it out. Can we walk through you? Can we walk through him? Because he's a ghost, apparently. Right. Are, are we allowed to pass? I make a persuasion check for it. Persuasion. Captain. Cap, 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 cap. 15. Ooh. Plus four. Hey! With that, the spirit kind of glances to you and you feel this kind of cold presence pressing again the outside of your, your skull and then it withdraws. I see you carry much honor. Then pass on with my blessing. Should you find my body, please help me. <laughs> it's very lonely in this jungle. And the spirit kind of fades away. Yeah. What an unpleasant specter. He's gone. Okay, Good job, let's Kevin. all remember this body thing. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, if we find it, if we find Trump. it. If we find okay. the right. if we find a body. Bring it back. He, Give him he, the thing. He was good. He volunteered the info to yeah. us. You're that's right, you're good. right. He stuck out our souls. You know, you guys, that's why I need you guys, because I, I just want to attack everything. Yeah. So, you know, we avoid it. So <laughs> you're already undead. I'm trying not to get there. Well, let's keep it moving. All right. <laughs> Continuing forward into the jungle, as you take your first step past this encounter, you feel the ground suddenly <laughs> quake. You hear this oh, low gross rumble. Gross, Elvis. Oh, what? It wasn't you. me this time. <laughs> no, I tell you, I always announce. Oh. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> as they're having this argument, Thodak, you kind of look in the direction of that sound and you glance past the small breaks in the canopy to see that ominous peak of the mountain and you watch the beginning of what looks to be a small column of smoke mm. begin to emanate from its top. Mm. That doesn't seem good. No, it's a small, billowing It is, but, it's, con- but it's continuous. So this is a mountain? It's a mountain. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily a volcano? You don't know. 
Can I check it out? <laughs> Make a nature check. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, yes. Wait, is my nature any good? Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. So roll a d20. That is a... One. Natural it's a one. It's a one. It's a one. one. It's a one. Uh, could be a volcano. <laughs> could be uh, a... donkey. Could be a... <laughs> yeah, could be, could be a campsite. Could be a... Uh, could be someone uh, having a nice little, little cook-off. What color is the smoke? It is black. Mm. Oh, that doesn't sound like a campfire. Uh. No, campfire smoke, usually white, billowy, So it might black not be smoke. them. Black and dark gray, yeah. That feels volcanic to me, very natural, yeah. something mm. out of the ground. Show okay. yourself okay. first. Okay, so, so with that happening, I think that that's not people. That's something natural happening on the island. We continue on. So we got some time. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're leading on. Uh, go ahead and make another uh, survival check to lead into the next portion of the jungle. Should, should I roll inside here? Up to you. That's whichever right. you prefer. 15. 15. 15. I've been rolling 15. 15 plus, plus four. four. So that's a 19. Your captain has been in a few <laughs> things in the past. <laughs> and while you two are lost amongst the uh, natural splendor, the dangerous <laughs> nature of the, of the island, so that knows exactly where to go and what to avoid. And with that, you manage to pass by two additional patches of those strange moving vines mm -hmm. without issue. You point them out to your group, continue on without hindrance. Nice. Thanks, Cap. The, the floor of the, of the jungle gets softer and more wet the further in you go. Mm -hmm. You start hearing the <laughs> sucking sounds of your footfalls as it becomes more of a muggy, swampy atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, the heat returns now that you're far from the, uh, the spectral pal you had yes. made back then. <laughs> um, until eventually you come upon what looks to be a localized lake, uh, very green with algae and overgrowth. Uh, maybe 25 feet across, 15 feet on the other side, but it looks like there is a kind of muggy swamp lake in the center of this space in front of you. Hmm. I do have a question. Yes. Um, with Azerite, is it is it mainly found near water, or is it is it something buried? It's something that's emerging. Uh, specifically, there was a, a horrible event that happened recently that wounded the planet, mm. and the Azerite represents kind of the the bleeding of the planet from this wound. Oh. So it's like an element that's begun to emerge in places uh, in, in a reaction to this wounding. Mm -hmm. um, but all of it seems to be mostly localized in this island cluster. Okay. And we'll um, know it when we see it. Perhaps. In fact, if you want to make a perception check, guys, sure. to look around for any sort of traces of Azerite around this. Uh... Natty 20. Natty, Natty 20. 20. I got a one. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, seven, seven, sorry. Okay, that's seven. Seven. Seven, seven and plus. perception plus one. Okay, so eight. So you, having this thought and kind of making the mention to your teammates, glance out there and uh, something gets in your eye and you're like, ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, well, damn it. While that's happening, what would you roll? Nat 20. Both? Ooh. Maybe both rolled that. Both Nat 20, baby. So, oh, so what about it? There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, see, for me. I'm over here like, what the hell? Somebody blow in my eye, please. <laughs> That's flipping teamwork. All right. Um, so as you're trying to focus, your two teammates who have previously been kind of following your guide through this jungle step out and using their super goblin undead vision yes. can see there this like faint glow of light towards the base of this lake. You see what looks to be a faint shimmer of blue that shifts almost to an orangish white to back. And from the small shards you've seen, that is very much the glimmer of Azerite. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, what do you say? A, I felt a mild flicker of joy just now. Yes, <laughs> yes. This is surprising. <laughs> How do we get down there, though? Well, uh, can I that's breathe? In the, that's in the lake, right? You actually don't have to breathe. You can go as long Guys, as you want. Oh. I got this. Don't worry. Your boy Elvis got you. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive in. All right. So you watch as you kind of skitter to the edge and into the water, coming down through the surface, uh, from the surface underneath. Before uh, you jump in, I'm gonna cast some guidance on you. Oh. You gotta add, again, add a d4, do an ability check. Thanks, babe. All right, mm -hmm. as you make your way down, kind of pushing through the muck under the water, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. I rolled Pretty a two. Bad. Oh. Pretty bad, so I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my guidance on that. No. Great, so as you push forward through the murky depths, you see the single glimmer, and you're like, there it is, and you reach out oh, and grab no. it, and it, it's stuck in something. 
Do they hear me? Can I talk to them? Yeah, or am I too deep? You're deep underwater. Okay. You're, about, you're about 10 feet, 15 feet we're, beneath we're, the surface. We're, we're on the shore just waiting. I'm gonna use, can I use my dagger to try to cut it free? Sure. You pull out your dagger and, you, <clears throat> and it's carving in, and at that point, it shifts. Oh. And it's, it's, you realize at that point, it's attached to something. It's jammed in something that begins to move. Uh-oh. What do you do? Um, okay, let's see. Oh dear. All Uh-oh. right. Um, You're underwater right? by yourself. And, and most of my things are fire related. <laughs> yeah. Is the water, um, is, does the water bubble? Uh, you guys just at this moment begin to see a little bit of movement beneath, but that's all. For our, you're like, not quite sure what that is yet. It's not too much yet. Okay. Um, what are you doing, Elvis? Oh no, I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 um, and what's, what's your instinct? What's taking her so long? <laughs> Uh, my instinct Elvis is to fight, but I can't. No. Uh, let's see. I guess I should try to shoot back up. Okay. I need your help. All right. So you go ahead and start. Turn around. And start swimming. You <laughs> make yourself to the surface. Uh oh. What's your armor class? Oh no. Twelve. Twelve. Weirdly enough, rolled super low. <laughs> you feel this large push of force behind you as the water just, <laughs> and you hear something <laughs> snap together, but. You don't feel any impact, and you quickly scramble to the surface. You watch as Elvis comes out of the water and comes to the surface, and you see as something, the, that glow of Azerite moves right afterward, and with it, emerging from the water, you see this elongated snout of a scaled crocolisk, a large oh. crocodile-like creature that is now oh. coming after Elvis. I made a friend, guys. And, wait, and the Azerite is? is jammed into like the top of its head right now. Okay. I need you all to roll initiative. Initiative. It's time to party. Let's get the spike going. And I'm gonna get my. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. 12. 12 for you. 16 for me. Other Ritz? Six plus two, so an eight for me. So, as it emerges, kind of this low, gurgly growl behind it. Elvis, you are the first to react on this as you okay. spin around. What do you do? I'm gonna fireball his butt. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a d20 and add your, your plus seven spell attack. Okay. Oh. Mm. Eight. Mm. <laughs> Natural one? Yeah, that doesn't help you, unfortunately. <laughs> you spin around and seeing this creature that you had unintentionally awoken, you kind of uh, freak out and fire your, your blast that kind of just arcs off and hits one of the trees uh, in the distance. No one will say this to anyone back on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the spark will surprise you. <laughs> it is now the, the crocolisk's turn as it <laughs> comes okay. up towards you and it's going to go ahead and attempt to bite you with its large. Jaws. No. That's going to be a 24 to hit. I'm pretty sure that hits you with your armor class. Oh. Um, and that'll be against you. It's like double your armor class. Uh, yeah. 10. You take 15 points of piercing damage. Whoa! Oh. Okay. As it bites into you, and you are currently grappled. It is like latched down Shoot. onto the body of Elvis and starting to kind of swing back and forth. <laughs> With its tail, it's going to spin around and swing it out towards you, Thodak, okay. as you're trying to go forward to either defend your ally or assault back on it. And that's going to be a natural one. It's, <laughs> it swings back with its tail and it hits your armor, and you're just like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. A this, little help, guys? I'll throw that. What? This thing's about 20 feet long, and you just shrugged off its tail. Uh, with that, it's your turn, Thodak. Uh, we we got to kill this thing. All right. And so. we're sw- and I'm going to take my great axe and I'm hacking. All right, go for it. You get two attacks. So roll roll the d20 and then add your plus seven attack modifier. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on, Cap. Bam! Oh! Whoa! What was that? 18. 18, 18 plus seven. 20. That definitely hits. So go ahead and roll your d12 for damage. Okay. And come on. Bam! Nine. That's good. Nine. Cool. Nine. With your attack is plus four. So that's 13 points of slashing damage yes. against the crocolis. Dang. So that's a good first hit, and you gain a rage. I got a lot of rage. <laughs> I already have it. I already have it. And you have a second attack, so go ahead and roll that. And here we go. 11. 11 plus 7, 18. That hits as well, so go ahead and yes. roll damage on that. Yeah. Okay. Come on, big money. Seven. Seven, seven. seven plus four, that's 11 points of damage. Nice. So you watch as Thodak comes forward and whack, two giant swings of the great axe start carving into it, leaving these large wounds on the side of the crocolis. It spins around with Elvis still in its mouth, kind of <laughs> You've got its attention. Okay. That brings us to Ritz. I'm gonna say, uh, hey Elvis, just duck your head a little bit, and I'm gonna go and into a lightning bolt. All right, Ooh. so go ahead and roll for attack I'm against the crocolis. 
Also an, an 18, Dang. plus my spell attack, which is six, so 24. That hits, go ahead and roll damage for your lightning bolt. Which is 2d8, uh, one, that's lame. And six, so seven damage. Seven okay. points of lightning damage. As you pull back your little goblin hands and release this bolt of lightning, it strikes into the side of it. The arcs of energy kind of crawl across its body. It shakes from the impact. You feel a little bit of a, a brief you guys are buzz. Really lucky, I uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's going to go ahead and, and end the combat round at the top again. Elvis, it's your turn. You are currently grappled and technically restrained in its mouth. You can still act. But uh-huh. any, any rolls that you make are at disadvantage okay. until you break I'm free. also feeling a lot of shame because this is really screwing with my cool guy exterior. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. Uh, We're hoping it doesn't eat you because we might have some Acropolis tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So if we kill this thing, we got a meal. And but don't eat. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want bits of undead. I'm, I'm already you're, hungry. You're, you're I'm already hungry. I want to <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, so I am going to attempt a, uh, a fireball again and hopefully not charf it this time. <laughs> right down his throat. All right, so Ooh. go ahead and roll with disadvantage because you are restrained. Okay, so 11, your... 17. Okay, so 11, you take the lower two. Uh, plus right. seven, that's still uh, 18. 18. That still hits. Go ahead and roll damage for your fireball. Four. Four. All right, and... Eight. Eight. Nice. 12 points of fire damage. You actually have one hand kind of pinned inside of its mouth, and you kind of just <laughs> release it right into the top of its jaw. <laughs> you watch, it, you watch a, a, a burst of flames go shooting out of its nostrils. <laughs> and it kind of oh. <laughs> pulls back, but it still holds you tight in its grip. <laughs> so that finishes your turn, Elvis. It's now the Crocolisk's turn. Ooh, Angered by the burning pain that it now feels searing on the inside of its jaw, it's going to go ahead and bite down on you. Cool. Um, cool, 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 cool. Which uh, has advantage on you because you're currently strained. Uh, that's going to be a uh, 15 to hit. What's your armor class? 12. 12, that hits. Arts. <laughs> Elvis is getting <laughs> <hits. Come> up! <laughs> All right, that is going to be uh, 12 points of piercing damage again. Tail attack is going to swing around, and this time, because you damaged it so much last turn, it's still mm-hmm. focused on you. It's okay. going to ignore the tiny goblin, and it's going to swing its tail back around to try and hit you, Thodak. That's going to be 11. Your armor class is 18? 18. Not at all. <laughs> This, get off me. <laughs> you actually reach the out. Hell off me. You gotta say hell, right? The hell yeah. you, do that. You, do that. you just shrug it off, no problem. That brings it to your turn again, Thodak. Okay. It's looking pretty hurt. Like you've done some serious points of damage to it in this past round. Well, like okay. I said, we might have uh, some uh, Acropolis uh-huh. tonight. Yeah. So Go I'm ready it. to hack at it again. I'm going to attack. Go for it. And you got two rage built up, by the way, if you want Ooh, to. Ooh, I got two right now. Because you've attacked. Because each attack, you build up a point of rage. Oh, okay. So. So you have two, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. And boom. So I take the 20 and... Yep, first attack. First attack. 18! Oh my god, you're you killing it! 18! Oh, crazy. Okay. 18 plus seven, that's, that's 25. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. And here comes damage. Bam! Nice! nice. Yes! <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to eat. Yeah. I'm hungry. Right, right. I'm Thir- hungry. <laughs> 13 points of damage, and then uh, make your next attack. You can use any rage points if you want to to uh, boost your next attack. If I'd you appreciate want. it. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. So I can use one of these. You can I'll use, erase it. You can use two points to use your mortal strike if you want. To. I'll use the mortal strike. It's time to get rid of this thing. Yeah. And, and right. get the Azerite and, and do it. So I take two of these away. Take two of those off got and then it. roll your next attack. Yes, I yes. got a great gator gumbo recipe, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Here we go. What is that? Is that a 17? 17. Uh, 17. 17 plus 7. This is 20, uh, 24. That is. Here comes the damage. So that's two. two. Well, Let's two. I got the mortal strike. Two plus four, and you get to add a d8 damage for mortal strike. D8. So that's that one there, yeah. This was it. So that's six. Big money. Big money. Two. Two again. Two. two. There you go. So it's still eight damage. That'll still finish it, actually. Yes. Yeah. Done. So, that's Done. Done. How do, how do you want to do this? Go ahead and describe your finishing blow as it's currently chewing on your teammate. Okay, first of all, I, 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 the, with the finishing blow, I grab it by its mouth, put one foot in, take my arm, pull the other top of the jaw up, free Elvis, take my free hand with my great axe, and come right down and chop it right through the jaw, not missing the Azerite, mm-hmm. but right through its mouth. <laughs> As it carves it through. It right through the, the mouth of the crocodile. The head splits open further, about two or three more feet. It shakes in your grasp, but then slowly loses the will and strength to fight as it falls limp in your hands and you toss it to the ground there. The shard's still embedded in the top of its head. Delicious. It's gonna be good tonight. Yeah. 
Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> now, gonna... can we can we pull the Azerite out? Go ahead and make a make an athletics check. So go ahead and roll a d20 and yes. then add your athletics modifier. I'll take the wait a minute. Get the d20. That would be seven plus and athletics, athletics plus seven. Fourteen. That'll be enough to do it. You managed to pull free the shard of Azerite Ooh. in the top of its head. Ooh, Sick. I like it. I like it. Woo-hoo. <laughs> we got it, y'all. We getting eyes right. That's the point. That's yeah, the whole point yeah, of the game. Yeah, yeah. That's the first shard you've seen, but apparently there's a lot more on this island somewhere, okay. and you're pretty hurt. Yeah, uh, I yeah. could use some healing if anyone wants to. <laughs> I'm gonna reach over and give you a healing surge. So it's one d8 plus three. Okay. Um, man, another two, so five damage. Okay, so I can five. Make, or five hit points. I mean, I can also conjure refreshment. Right? You can, yeah. If you Are want. we taking a short rest? It's up that, to you if you want to take, take a short rest. Can we take a short rest right now? Is that cool? I mean, no one else is hurt, though, except um, for me. What do you think, Cap? Do we rest or do we try and beat them? Well, yeah, we, we need a little rest after this. You're undead. You're almost really, <laughs> really dead. Really dead. <laughs> <laughs> and, now, and, and again, we just went through a very scary experience. Uh, we have some Azerite. The goal has been met to a, a, a slight degree. Okay. Let's take a break. All, All right. right. Okay. So you take you take the next uh, like half an hour to an hour to rest and tend to the wounds. You can go ahead and use hit dice to heal up if you'd like to. Great. Uh, we make crocodile gumbo. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. And we'll do a little harvesting. Yes, yeah. we did it. That's we'll, we'll eat a little bit. There you go. Yeah. The, 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 ma- the mage conjures some refreshments. Six. Uh-huh. I'll do so, it one more time. One more time. One. Four. All right, uh, the mage passes out the refreshments as you guys take a moment to kind of take a breather, pull it together, and right as you're about to continue the rest of your journey, the ground begins to shake once more with more power than the last quake you had felt. You glance up once again at the top of the mountain, you can see that tunnel, that small plume of smoke has widened and grown much darker and much more ominous. I think you were right about that volcano thing, Captain. Time is starting to run a little thin. We gotta get okay. going. What time of day is this right now? Right now, it's a few hours past noon, so we're looking at three, three, four in the afternoon. Okay. The question is, do we have time to push ahead? Because we have the camp back there. We had our little break, but I say we try to get there before sundown. Before sundown. The, sundown. Mm-hmm. We gotta try to get, so we, we're headed right there. We'll right. Power walk. We continue. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we'll power All right. walk. And, yeah. and we know something's happening, but if we can get there before anything catastrophic, we'll be okay. All right. As you get back to your feet, freshly rested, feeling the, the ominous impact of this strange rumble, you begin to head towards the dark shape of the mountain in hopes of finding the source of Azerite that you were foretold would be waiting for you there. Mm-hmm. That's where we'll go ahead and finish this half of the session. The burning of the second world tree is still fresh in your memories, as the sting of your defeat at the destruction of Sylvanas and the Horde called down upon the assault on Lord Ron still burns beneath your skin. These acts of treachery and brutality have ushered in this new age of violent warfare. A front now fought on the seas east of the Maelstrom, in the islands surrounding Kul Tiras. In the wake of the Horde's unforgivable actions, the naval forces of the Alliance now prepare for retribution by claiming the open waters and the newly emerging mineral now known as Azerite. This material, the very blood of Azeroth, holds the power to sway this struggle in your favor and finally end the conflict in victory swiftly. I'm Troy Baker, but today I'm playing Captain Arnost Winborn, a human priest for the Alliance. Death to the Horde, one in particular. My name is Jessica Chobot and I play Eddie Darkhammer of Desolation, a dwarven paladin and we need better leadership. I'm Taliesin Jaffe, playing a void elf rogue. Nullus Deep River, the Alliance prevails. But you know the Horde is seeking this powerful boon as well. As such, you three have been selected for your skill and bravery at Lordaeron to lead an expedition under the guidance of your captain, Arnost, to a recently discovered island where a scouting ship claims to have spotted masses of Azerite 
somewhere in the vicinity of this mountain that sits at the center of the landmass. Three days at sea now, the choppy waters and stale provisions taking their toll on your stomach. You hear those two wonderful, long-awaited words. Land ho! Shouted from your dwarven shipmate atop the crow's nest. Now you see at the front of the ship, as it's splashing over the waves, the sea spray in their face, we have Nullis. Uh, Nullis Deep River. She's a void elf. She's got short hair and is gently scarred from whatever battle she came from to the point where when she sits still, she looks like she might just be made of marble and glows with the strange black light indigo power of the void. And Nullis, as you're standing there looking over the side, clutching the rope and kind of leaning over the edge, you hear the familiar clanking of heavy armor coming up the stairs to the front. Glancing over, you see your shipmate, Eddie. Looks like he basically raided a medieval hot topic. <laughs> kind of goth, goth kid. Really desperately wants to be accepted, but doesn't think it's cool to look that way. So, you know, it's just like, whatevs, until the opportunity comes up and he's like, uh, maybe I can help. This is why we get along. Yes. So mm -hmm. as, as you approach and join the side of, of Nullis, you glance forward, you can see kind of the, the shadowed landmass getting larger and larger as it approaches. The looks to be one looming peak beyond that that kind of breaks the horizon, at which point the dwarf who's coming down the, uh, the rope ladder glances over and goes, I'll only be a short time till we're there. Where's the cotton? Mm. Somewhere over there. Eddie, come on, get with it. <laughs> get a and at that point, you all turn and watch as stepping up the stairs, you hear the footfalls of the heavy leather boots as Captain Arnost approaches. Arnost Windborn, also known as Arnost the Shackled, Arnost the Cold. Black raven hair tied back mostly, flows like silver into his beard, framing a jaw set in determination. His eyes are what's left of them. Color of steel like the scabbard that hangs from his waist. Left eye is adorned with a small leather patch. Hide a dark scar goes from his brow to the middle of his cheek. Doesn't say much. Only what needs to be said when it needs to be said. But his whisper carries like the rolling of distant thunder. Also, typically, a little drunk. <laughs> Just a little. If you notice as the, uh, <laughs> the large jug dangles from the right hand of the captain as he plants himself on the front of the deck next <clears> to you. <throat> Ready to go. <laughs> Steal with courage, lads. <laughs> At that point, the ship grows closer and closer until eventually you can see the crystal shore that awaits you. The pebbled beaches are scattered with pieces of driftwood as small crabs crawl from the waves and into the rocky crevices. A heavy jungle tree line meets you about 40 feet from the water. The ship weighs anchor, you step onto your small boats and make your way grinding up onto shore as you kind of take in the scenery around you. The shadowed zenith of the mountain now looming over the tree line before you. You look around, Captain, and notice this is an open and fairly private piece of land. It'd be a good place to set up a small camp before you go scouting. The dwarven compatriot gets off the boat behind you and goes, all right, so what's the plan? Now listen, for the rest of the crew to remain on the boat, Gather provisions as they may. Of course, Captain. And, um, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Cheer up just a little bit. <laughs> For the love of God, we're having an adventure. Fine. <sighs> just gonna sit over here. <laughs> as Eddie goes and sits on a rock and stares longingly down at the shoreline, uh, Nullis, you make your way back to the ship to begin helping provisions brought over to the shore. Uh, over the next half an hour or so, the men begin to bring over the, the makings of a small encampment. Tents are put up. Some of them start actually scavenging for food elements off the side of the shore, setting up a small fishing arrangement there, and blockades in case an assault begins to make its way out of the jungle in their direction. I'm, I'm going to quickly just do a little round around the, the, the edge of the jungle quietly, just to see if there's anything inappropriate happening outside of our, our immediate field of view. Okay, make a perception check for me, All please. Right. Damn. You die. Ooh. That's a uh, uh, 17. 17, what'd you roll? 14. 14 plus three, 17? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you guys are sitting at the camp and you're giving out orders to the various men, uh, Nullis scoots along the tree line, glancing in. Uh, it's very dark on the inside. The canopy is well meshed to the point where only beams of light seem to come through and uh, even just a little bit of air that comes from that side of this warm breeze that's pushing through the trees, causing this distant rustling sound, has a very earthy and wet smell to it. Uh, you get the sense that as the 
uh, sun in the sky gets higher and higher and the temperature gets warmer, you're in for a bit of a humid, musky journey Ugh. inward. Um, but nothing musky. catches your eye specifically waiting for you directly beyond the tree line. <laughs> it's dark? Uh, no, it is, it is about midday at this point. Okay. I need to remind everyone we are. Time is of the essence. We've noticed the horde on the other side of the island. We know they've made landfall. We must make it to the middle of the mountain as quickly as possible. Going through the jungle seems to be the best course of action, although dangerous. Just a straight, straight line for the mountain then? Well, we should hope so. Of course, I'm not counting on it being that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nothing will get in our way whatsoever. There won't be a sign saying this way to the Azurite. Strangely, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> you look down and see a sign. Um, as Why is it in Welsh? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> as you gather your supplies, the encampment seems to be mostly built and most of your uh, shipmen are able to stay behind to both watch over your transportation in case any horde decide to uh, assert dominance around the opposite side of the shoreline. Um, the three of you pick up your weapons and begin to make your way deep into the jungles of this island. Who is leading this expedition? I'll, I'll go in front if you like, just well, because I'm very quiet. Well then go and make a stealth check for me I if you don't make mind. A wow, this is so exciting, I haven't played a rogue in the years. Uh, make a decision. That's a natural 20. A natural 20? So you Good The two job. of you watch as, as Nulla smiles, uh, her kind of somewhat <laughs> creepy grin, and seems to vanish from sight immediately in front of you. Just fade into nothing. I'm secretly super impressed, but I'm like, whatever. <laughs> no, it's only 30 feet ahead, no more. I'll hold a 30. All right, go ahead and make a survival check. Mm. You guys watch carefully as you pay attention to this, the division of various bits of vegetation ahead of you. Six. Okay. So, in the death of Nullis. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you guys keep tabs enough as, as, as an ally and having worked a bit with, with Nullis previously, uh, you watch as she scouts ahead and kind of carves the path through the jungle. Um, along the way for the next hour or so, uh, you sense at this point the, the sound of heavy insects buzzing and the, the sheer heat of the jungle now beneath this canopy. It's cooking the interior of it. You're sweltering beneath your clothing and your armor. The sweat is beating across your forehead. Right. Um, you had to wear back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you are leading Nellis, uh, I need you to go ahead and make a perception check for oh me, please. Oh boy, okay. That's a little better. I actually have a bonus to that. Um, that's, oh, that's a little better. That's a uh, 10, at least. You rolled a 10? I rolled a seven plus three. Seven plus three, okay. Right. Scooting ahead, you feel confident that you are leading your team into a safe environment and what looks to be a, a clearing maybe 20 or so feet ahead. Um, you turn over your shoulder and give kind of a nudge of direction to the rest of your team and as you spin, there's a moment where you hear this unfortunate sound. In that brief minute, your whole body freezes up, your eyes close as you realize this isn't good, and you feel a sudden tug towards your leg. Make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh. Ooh, you got this, you got this. Dex save? Dex save, yes. God damn it. Uh, that's better, that's uh, uh, 10 plus six at 16. 16, mm. all right. As you pull back just in time, you see what looks to be a vine uh, crafted lasso that had been placed and hidden amongst the floor of this jungle, jab away and almost grab you and jagging you into the air. However, you manage to pull out of it, just barely pull your foot beyond its grasp as it suddenly whips up into the sky, the branch that was currently held taut, now rocking it up and down with what appears to have been a bell attached to it. Now ringing, ding, 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 before eventually coming to rest a few seconds later. Ewoks, I knew it. <laughs> um, Close. Uh, at this point, there's a moment of silence as you all look at each other, the, the, the common look of, oh shit. Oh, silence. shit. <laughs> you don't hear birds. Even the buzzing of insects seems to fade for the moment. And instead you hear <laughs> all these howls and hooting, seemingly directionless, surrounding you. You're not sure where it's coming from, if it's coming from anywhere or everywhere. But now you hear voices, three, four, six, who knows how many, 
surrounding you. What do you do? I'm gonna hide. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna die behind a tree. Roll a stealth yeah. check. Question. Oh, not a bad idea. okay. As you turn to, to give Nellis direction, Nellis just. Oh, <laughs> that's spin. that's not great, but that'll do. Uh, that's a two plus nine, so it's eleven. You see, Nellis th- thinks she's hiding. I mean, it's just like, it. found yeah. a rock, it's about half her size, and it's like ducking down really low. <sighs> Strength and numbers, numbers, do never, ever abandon the group again. I'm looking at him like, uh, instructions please? Back to back, everyone. <laughs> we circle ourselves around, look into the jungle to see if we can make out any, uh, can we look around, we, are we starting to see where the howls are coming from? Do we know the size of them? At this point, as you guys are all back to back, your kind of weapons out, defensive mm. stance, you begin to see these shapes, these shadows moving. You see the rustling of jungle leaves uh, getting closer and closer, uh, louder and louder. This 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 hollering, <laughs> and from there you see emerging, surrounding you from different directions, a half a dozen of these creatures emerge. These uh, simian beasts in patchwork armor, uh, furred with long arms in the front, wielding simple blades and axes. Uh, they are very uh, chimpanzee-like, but larger and muscular. If, if uh, lithe in their their upper torso area, uh, one of them appears to be larger than the others. Gray furred, a female matriarch-type warrior that is currently holding this heavy two-handed spear in your direction. And played by Andy Circus. Go ahead. <laughs> Always. Um, as they surround you, they're not immediately <clears throat> making aggressive action, but they have you entirely surrounded, weapons drawn. Do we know for sure if these are enemies or not? You don't. Do you want to go ahead and make an insight check to gauge yes. their uh, their intent? All right, go for so it. D20. Will, D20, this will be my first roll ever! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> um, so roll that and then add your insight skill. Can we, can we do it again? Because I rolled a five. Oh. <laughs> so my insight, however, is plus seven, so that's a 12. That's, that's pretty still good. pretty good. Okay, Maybe but I would have loved for that first one to be like a 20, <laughs> like you did. When, when, when we all, yeah. Okay, okay. so I, I, my insight is plus 12, so do I know if these are enemies, if these are foes or not? Can we... in, in engaging the, uh, the, the physicality of them, they're powerful, they have intelligence to them, mm-hmm. um, and the one that you look at, the matriarch specifically that's stepping forward, yes. there is a wisdom behind the eyes where, and the, in the moment, it's hard to read specifically, but you don't feel like they're attacking yet. Can I use thaumaturgy to have my voice um, be present but calming and soothing in order to, um, if I say we mean you no harm, can I use that to echo through the jungle and, and you cause can. a sense of peace? Uh, soothing with thaumaturgy could, you definitely can get attention, but you can try it. So as, as, you, as you well up your, your, your thaumaturgy cantrip to, to give your voice a deeper bassy resonance and to have it carry through the vicinity to have the weight of a person who demands attention, uh, what do you say? We mean you no harm. Go ahead and make a persuasion check, please. That so the well, same thing with a pretty a persuasion at the bottom. 18 oh, plus nice. one. A 19. That's pretty good. That's 19. Good. The hollow ring now got, <laughs> goes quiet as the voice resonates out loud. The actual uh, jungle leaves almost quake and shift slightly with the force of this blast of voice around you. The matriarch, spear drawn towards you, puts her hand up and you watch as some of the weapons draw down slightly. She doesn't lower her spear. (laughs) Kind of lumbers up to you, and even though in her hunched older form is almost full to your human height, uh, glances at you with these very intense light blue sky eyes and goes, You, you, no, no, um, why, why here? (laughs) Make a gesture to my crew to lower their weapons as well. I open palm, look at her and say, we are simply here looking for Azurite. We mean you no harm. We will pass by and you will remain unharmed. Azur. What? 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 Azurite? It's a rock. No use to you. Make a perception check. We're just gonna I'm mine sweating it and right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. literally sweating. <laughs> uh, I roll an 18 again. Oh, damn! Nice. So, uh, 18 plus. 19. Oh. 19. Uh, as you're saying this, no use to you. You glance down past her face to her armor, and you can see there is jewelry affixed around her neck that are oh, small shit. stones of the same <laughs> shifting blue to gold azurite material. Uh, rough, hewn, 
uh, you know, not not well placed, but definitely worn as what looks to be a proud warrior jewelry. As soon as she watches your gaze, takes the spear and kind of tips it (laughs) under your chin to to bring your eyes back up to her. Glowstone, yes. You call it glowstone. We will bring back to you this glowstone. We only need to keep a small portion. The rest is yours. Make a deception check. Yep. Ooh. It's a four. <laughs> <laughs> a plus one. There it is. We were so confident. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she, she leans forward and the eyes narrow as she seems to peer in and past you. At which point, <laughs> lifts a hand and you watch as the weapons raise once more. No, no, take you with Pikoka. Take no stone. <laughs> Starts inspecting you now for all of your goods. Drop, give, and pass. One of them, you, you feel behind you, Eddie, as one of the uh, uh, the blades being held kind of pokes into your armor mm-hmm. and it kind of scrapes against the metal as you get shoved forward a few inches. I'm like super pissed, but then I turn and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> well said. But I'm like super pissed. <laughs> You can see it on Eddie's face. <laughs> super pissed. She is super, super pissed. pissed. <laughs> it's not good for you at all. Shh. Mm. Might be doing the lip thing. Do you guys ever get the lip thing when you're about to get spanked? You get the. Yeah. So you're right. Oh, not the quivered chin. You do like the. <laughs> gold the lip. No, no. I always get the lip. <laughs> Stern faces. Stern faces, Eddie. Um. She tells me to drop what? You said. Drop things, your things. We keep you move on. It's still a pretty good you get deal. Get the sense that they're essentially <laughs> robbing you what's, at this point. What's the, what's the ground like? The ground is a tangled mass of tree roots, vines, and what seems like soft vegetation that has fallen from the trees and is now in the process of decomposition. This is a Man. relatively soft jungle floor met with various hard uh, pieces of root and wood. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! That that's unfortunate. Okay, um, I. I mean, I can I remove, can, is there anybody in the group that's sick on their side? Because I can remove potential toxins and like say, like maybe make them You can ask. Happy. Wonderful, mm. way better than what I was gonna do. I was about to go nuclear on no, these no I'm just thinking, well, I don't, do, do we know, is there an obvious, like is it weird for me to just be like, yeah, uh, excuse me, are any of you sick? Because I could potentially help you. I don't know, what do you, what do you want to do? Is it. that what you want to do? Go for it. Yeah, well, let's do it, yeah. Well, well, so I'm the, just like, uh, like no big deal or anything, but maybe we could just like heal somebody that's sick or whatever. I could do that. The one behind you kind of looks strangely at the matriarch, looks for it. What? What? You? Heal? Heal what? You? Somebody else? Make a persuasion check. Oh shit, yeah. So roll a d20, wow. add your persuasion skill. Ah. Ah. That was such a good idea! <laughs> <laughs> it said what, two? So, yeah, two plus six. Eight. 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 That's, 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 <laughs> not, that's not bad. It's not, yeah. It's not six. At this point, uh, they kind of glare at you. I can do it! I can do it! I can do it. One of the various. Uh, Pulls forward, looking at you, and is like the eyes are very thick with pus, and is like coughing a bit. And the matriarch <laughs> goes, <"Whoa>! <laughs> "Suck it up!" <laughs> oh, oh, that poor bastard! I'll be like, "But, but I can't." And the guy who's the the, the one that looks you know, Ill. I'm gonna do it anyway, just to show that oh. I can do it. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm stepping over. All right. Uh, or you could ask her. Or go ahead. No. Go, okay, no, okay, no. Okay. Go ahead. Can't go ahead. Do, what do you think? <laughs> Um, Kevin, speak the fuck up! Honestly, I think that's, I, I would actually do it. Uh, uh, the only thing, I, I don't want to, I don't want to undermine her. Because if I botch this role, we're dead. Um, it's it's going to be fun regardless. We're going go to go to, we go to war, I can, I can pull the <laughs> nuclear option if we have to. I would say absolutely, go ahead and heal it. Just do it. Just do it. I'm just doing this. I need you to roll an initiative check for me, please. Is that with the 20? Yeah. yeah, roll a d20, 20. Add, add your plus one I initiative mean, modifier. Please. I mean, I mean, roll big, baby. I mean. Do it, do it, do it! 
18! Plus a what? Plus one for your yes. initiative. Yes! 18. 18. 18, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you rolled that. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so, as you're rushing forwards towards the, the sick ape creature, uh, the ones around see you suddenly shifting, and you're not a very quick, nimble no. entity with your like full plate armor yeah. um, and shield. So as you rush forward, they all turn, and you hear this collective <gasps> gasp, and <gasps> they start rushing towards you as you go out hand first. And uh, what are you using? Are you oh, using uh, cleanse toxins, I guess. Okay. Is that, uh, can I do that? Uh, you, you, you can cleanse toxins, or you can use your lay on hands to also. Cure oh yeah. Well, to. which one's better? Uh, I would say lay on hands. Lay on yeah. hands. So can, we'll go with. So you can toxins. use five points of that to go ahead and cleanse disease or toxins. So how much is it? You have you have twenty, 20? now out of twenty five. Okay, gotcha. So because also, you're so. Also, just want to let everybody know that they're probably having a heart attack that I'm writing with a pen. It's erasable. There you go. Oh, now you know. I'm writing with a pen. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. You know why? Because that's how much I believe in my decisions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game will. This isn't the New York that. Game crossword puzzle. I can scratch it out. So, in okay. that moment, mm -hmm. as as that the tension builds up, the back of your neck goes warm, and the breath leaves you as this climactic moment of your tiny armored dwarven friend charges towards the edge, and they all swarm her. Uh, your hand reaches out and touches this sickly uh, creature as it pulls back. <laughs> you feel this divine energy, this flash of light from your hand that enters its body, and the ones around are sure it's an attack. Yeah, so three of, them, get beat. three of them are going to make an attack against you. Uh, that's cocked. Uh, it's a natural 20. Oh, oh no. Uh, no. Thank no, you so not. much for playing. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I really just a, secretly want to be part of the group. That's a, <laughs> that's a 16 total. It's a, a 12 plus 4. What's your armor class? Uh, 19. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that hits the armor and is deflected off, and the final attack is a natural 1. One of them just Woo. plants on his face and gets run over by one of his friends. Thank God. Um, you do, however, suffer. Uh, oh, roll that die. 14 points Ooh. of uh, bludgeoning damage as a giant hammer slams you in the side of the head and you fall to one knee. However, as soon as this happens and you guys see this assault swarm your dwarven compatriot, the matriarch goes, Stop! And they all kind of freeze and look back. And she kind of hobbles up to the once sickly host and lifts it up off the ground, looks it over. <laughs> kind of nods. Okay. You here? We mean you no harm. Power strong? Yes. Quite strong. Kind of webs her nose and points out into the into the deeper jungle. You you help kill ogres. Let go. Yes. 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 Oh. oh. Okay. Let go. Hey, help. Heal. Kill. Big ogres. And the matriarch steps away, puts the spear down, and the other one slowly <coughs> back up into the jungle, leaving just the one that you healed behind, who's kind of like tapping its chest. Looks mm -hmm. younger. Mm -hmm. Now a bit healthier, kind of looks up into your dwarven eyes and. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And then scampers off, and within a few moments they've scattered back into the jungle, leaving you there in the clearing, oh. kind of alone. I've already made a friend along the way. I <laughs> wanted to really make a friend like, and tell them yeah. there are others who are looking for the glowstone. You can shout it if you want to as they're leaving. Yes. So he shouts after him, wait! Some of them continue, some of them stop. The matriarch turns around over the shoulder and looks at you. There are others looking for glowstone. They mean you harm. As you say that, the matriarch, glancing over her shoulder still before disappearing into the jungle, makes eye contact with you, Captain, and goes, Ookum in the duke. And then disappears off into the jungle brush. We set in a trap. Way to plant that seed. We set in a trap. 
All right. This was the so, real glowstone right here. I uh, let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's really take a moment to appreciate the glowstone of friendship. Yeah. I am literally sweating right now. <laughs> 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 it's our first encounter. I'm like, it's weird, isn't it? Holy uh, crap. So I took 14 hits. Yeah. Oh, I'm down yeah, to 30. Yeah, yeah, 30. yeah, you're down to 30. Um, uh, that's fine. One for the team, y'all. I'm super stoked with my decision. I just uh, want to say it's no big deal. Yeah, you can. You can. That was. <laughs> you, you can lay on hands. That was like, foolhardy and, and beneficial at no the same deal. time. I'm not happy. Those are the best choices I find. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're ballsy. I didn't even think about that. I immediately went for like, let's kill them all. <laughs> That's a viable kill them. If it, if it okay, Miss UNICEF, thank you for <laughs> dropping it. If it, if, it, if it hadn't been so well, I have I have a pouch of ball bearings. I would have just dropped the ball bearings and just said run and watch them all trip. Because you can do shit like yeah. That's, that's all right. Watch them all in jungle when they sink into yeah, the mud. Yeah, it's not really going to do much. I was like, yeah. oh, there's also another actually thing. Just better Eddie traction. has a heart of gold. You just can't tell. It's all buried underneath his like black trench coat. Right. So I, uh, I don't want and to I gloss like over so much eyeliner. a little bit of information that we received that mm. apparently ogres are in our future. That's a thing that's going to yeah. happen. Um, maybe they're small ogres. Maybe they're a kindly I, I, ogre. I think even small og ogres are going to be a problem. Okay. Well. Arnos takes a swig from his jug. <laughs> <laughs> takes a, what is that, Captain? Nothing. Mm. I'm teasing my hair back up a little bit. <laughs> All right, who's who's uh, leading this next leg of the journey into the jungle? Um, You're killing it, so I think you should keep doing it. I'll keep going <laughs> since yeah, I'll keep going since my stealth is pretty high. Yeah. I'm not All used right. to having this so, insane stealth. So go ahead and roll a stealth again, mm. and then roll a survival check to see how well you can lead them through this uh, jungle. After. Stealth is a 14 plus nine, so that's 23. Great. And how long does your stealth last? And, until he does something that would reveal. Until his I position. do something dumb. Okay. Don't uh, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to hide behind a small rock. I, if, it, if I had found a bigger <laughs> rock, it would have been amazing. Like, this is what this character is all about, is is is, is very Loki. You so just jump out. check and, to, uh, to lead them through the next this leg. This is where the things go, this is where things go horribly wrong again, with a, with a yet another two. You know, oh. two plus. Two plus nothing. Oh, yay! It's just a two. Just a two. <laughs> oh, so it's just a two then. It's oh. just two. It's it's Alrighty. not quite the worst thing that could happen, but it's, it's just above cool. that. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're leading this charge. <laughs> so whose idea it. was this? It was not mine. It <laughs> Nobody was... has good survival in this. Noah did some terrible things upon the ship, mm. and we're making him suffer for it now. As you're having this conversation mm. with Eddie, <laughs> uh, making your way through this next heated portion of the jungle, uh, there's a. a period of time where the, the jungle trees are tangled and they're starting to grow in pairs almost and twisting. Uh, you're having to step over heavier root uh, and branch and, and what looks like thorny natural tropical bushes that are beginning to ingrain themselves at the base of these trees. Nullis, says you curve around one corner, you step down into something that's softer than what oh, you no. expect to be the hard floor of this part of the jungle. The two of you don't notice it at first, but you hear this sound. God damn it. As that is going to be a seventeen to hit. What's your armor class? Fifteen. Oh no! You, okay. You go, both turn the corner and watch as Nullis really steps this. down, and it looks in a blur of green, red, and orange color. The floor woof, wraps up and completely engulfs Nullis as what looks to be a large um, man trap, like plant. Imagine like an Audrey two-like creature just snap shut. <laughs> And Nullis is nowhere to be seen, entirely devoured by this creature. I turn to you and say, should we just leave? That's twice now. Just Let's just leave her. <laughs> no let's man. just leave her. <laughs> Poor woman. We, no uh, one gets left behind. I'm going to um, tap them on the shoulder behind them after using Spatial Rift. Oh, shit. At this oh, point. Oh, snap! Okay. Snap! <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't hear everything the two of you say. <laughs> <laughs> At which point you watch the trap slowly <laughs> unfurl. Go back to a rest place and you can see uh, when it pulls open, there are strings of viscous acidic liquid left behind. Uh, it seemingly, if you could tell a plant was sad and didn't get a meal, this is what it would look it's like. The saddest plant. It's any plant I've ever owned. It's just very sad because <laughs> like it didn't get a meal. I'm just trying to feed my children! <laughs> now look what you did. I step forward and so say, so because I'm the perfect <laughs> amount of drunk, Captain will lead from here on out. I take, I, I, I try and take a, a go for, a a go for the swig of, of what you're. If, yeah, that's if, all right. If, uh, it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I've, I've got some pretty, pretty uh, ridiculous healing abilities. So, uh, 
if, if I fall, I fall. I don't mean to expose or read over your shoulder, but are your notes, do they say f shit off? Where actually, yeah, it, so, <laughs> you ever do, yeah. <laughs> do you know when someone like says, you're, you're like writing something and then someone says another word and you end up writing that word? It's, oh. a, it's supposed to be up. <laughs> But someone said, can we go ahead and take that off? And I wrote off. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. But oh, I no. think also I just, that works too. I'm just laughing that those are your actual notes. Like, you know, like, like a human spell check moment. If you <laughs> tell someone to, you know, then you could also tell, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, just a real quick check in with uh, you. Uh, is it, does anyone have, I know you have the, you just used this. Uh, Unless we take a short rest, I don't get it back, but it, okay. I'm sure, I figure we'll take a short rest once we get to wherever we're That's going. That's up to you. Does anyone have any skills that allows us to cover ground quickly? Uh. I can, I can, we can run, but beyond that, but once you run, you make noise. Yeah, all of mine are mostly um, melee stuff. How far from the mountain are we? Uh, go ahead and make a, uh, make a survival check to gauge the distance. Survival check? Yeah. yeah. Any, any That's not a, it's just Boy Scout shit. Yeah, you know, it's being able to look off and kind of gauge a distance based on the height of the mountain and where your placement is. Oh! There it is, baby, nat 20. Nat 20! First, one. Oh, First one! So you watch as the captain... <laughs> Too <is> far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as the captain finally takes charge and decides to go ahead and lead this next leg of the expedition, you look up past the broken pieces in the canopy, you can just see uh, the top of the mountain, and within that you could say it's maybe about a good two hours, two and a half hours on foot until you reach the base of it. And at that moment, you feel on the ground this mild rumble, this bassy, gravelly sound seems to echo into the sky above you. And you hear a strange crack, and the quaking <laughs> grows heavier, more powerful, before subsiding. And as you're watching this distance, uh, in the distance towards the top of this mountain, you can see where once there was none, there was a small plume of black smoke now beginning to emerge from the mountain. Oh dear. Plume of black smoke on, from the top of the mountain? So. Oh, they're mining. Maybe? Maybe. Or it's a or, or it's, it could be a lot of things. <laughs> or have they or already volcano. beaten or us? Or a volcano. Or a volcano. No. We felt the ground rumble. Felt the ground rumble. I think they're blowing. Why did you have to say volcano? Why did you have to say volcano? I mean, it wouldn't be my first volcano. Okay. I have a piton. <laughs> well, you were busy sexting to find out how far the mountain was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just noticed that I had a piton, which allows me to, once we get to the mountain, climb faster. However, if it's a volcano, that just changes some things. Is it a volcano? Can we determine if it's a volcano? From this distance, you have no idea. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how we can close our distance because time is of the essence. We're running out of time. Or I just run, I guess. Yeah, that's it, right? Is that is that an option to yeah. just simply just, just just book it? We can we can we can book it, but it means we're going to make a lot of noise going through this this jungle. Do we have the time? I don't. I feel we we don't have. Captain's taking charge. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> This is a game of wrong decisions. <laughs> yes. We can lightly step through this jungle and take all day, or we can simply be swift about it and risk the dangers. We run. All right. All right. With that, picking up the pace, you go charging forward, go ahead and make another survival check to try and quickly guide them through Better the forest. Better get The jungle. Oh. That's a five! <laughs> five plus. plus uh, the the well, bottom one. For, for survival? Mm -hmm. Correct. Plus seven? <gasps> That's still pretty good. Yeah. That puts you to 12. Okay. So, you got a seven. Uh, in running through as fast as you can, dodging around, making sure that you're keeping an eye ahead of your team, that you don't end up running into another man trap, into any other dangerous plant matter that might be in your way, uh, yeah, you I'm do nervous. catch out of this corner of your eye what looks to be a clearing, a, a natural caldera bowl like sink hole, if you will, that, that uh, towards the bottom is about 15 feet lower than the rest of the level ground of this jungle. You glance off past the tree line and you can see what looks to be a small stone table or an altar of some kind that is partially overgrown with vines that are attempting to reclaim this structure in the center of it, maybe about four or five feet off the floor of the ground. It's about 35 feet from you where the trees stop and this strange little uh, caldera uh, is. At that point, you also notice sitting at the base of this stone table. There's a small, crackling, mostly ember fire with what looks to be the mostly eaten remains of a boar stuck through a pike 
resting above it. And there, clustered around it, appear to be three large, muscular... Ogres? Ogres. Oh, damn it, you had to... One of them is standing and currently scratching the side of the face before jamming a finger, squeaking it into one ear. Uh, another one sitting there uh, eating bits of this boar. A third one appears to have two heads oh. on its shoulders that are in the midst of an argument. You can overhear in the distance one going, That not true! Had four bites! I only had three! I get final munch! And the other head goes, You too dumb to count! I point new finger each you bites! And, looking at five fingers in their hand, Four! Goes, oh, okay. I not see fingers, my bad. And uh, goes and gives the last piece over eating that they don't seem to have noticed you yet. Go ahead and make perception check, all three of you, if you don't mind. 20, right? Mm -hmm. 17 plus one, so 18. 18 for the captain. 16 plus three, so 19. Oh, 19 for the mine's moment. just straight 15. Straight 15, okay, that's mm -hmm. still a great series of yeah, rolls. That's pretty solid. Well done, team. Takes a swig from his yep. The three of you glance <laughs> over there and notice one, none of the ogres know that you're nearby. Uh, you notice that on top of this stone tablet, it looks like there is a, uh, a stone chest or box of some kind that is closed. Um, it has two vines currently kind of draped over it, so it hasn't been opened, it seems. Um, who knows what's inside? Uh, but at the moment, you have the decision, the choice to continue on, or do you wish to try and make use of this moment to parlay, to attack? What do you want to do? Captain? Are ogres <laughs> something that can be reasoned with? You just heard some of their conversation. <laughs> what do you think? So, okay, so there's some diplomacy or, or, or a level of trickery, democracy. Trickery, diplomacy. But they need more food, so, or we could get them to pit themselves against each other. Does anyone have uh, any spell of deception or persuasion that you could cast or anything that we could, where we don't have to get involved? I'm, I'm really good at making things hurt. That's pretty much what yeah, I'm good at. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what do you guys, well. Well, I can heal. Could I use thaumaturgy to persuade them either way? It can be. It, it, it's very delicate to persuade because it is a big booming, you know, if you know, Bilbo Baggins right, 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 type right. thing. Uh, it's very useful for intimidation or to getting your point across. Mm. What you do know is that they do not know, they do not see you yet. <sighs> okay, I don't want to take too long, but I just want to understand. They said, I get the last bite because you've had four bites. Mm -hmm. And what was the other one's response? The other one says, no, I've been counting how many bites you had on my fingers. And there's an argument over math, and they're both wrong. <laughs> so you gather they're not the most intelligent creatures. There's, there's something that says I want to just give them, I want to just have a whole pack of boars come forward and go, take your pick, gentlemen. I don't have my summon boars, There's though. three of them. <laughs> there is, yes. So two of them are fighting. What's the third one doing? Okay. There's that kind of two that are eating. There's the one with two heads. Right. And then there's another one that's just quietly feasting on its, its portion of the boar. And there's a third one that has now moved on to the other ear, ear. and is currently clearing it out. Good for him. Uh, and and he, <laughs> since he's standing at his full height, you see he's probably around 10 or 11 feet tall and is just made of muscle and blubber. Mm. What do you think? Are ogres known to be cannibals? Uh, you don't know about these ogres. You know, some have been known to eat meat regardless of uh, source. Do you, wanna, do you wanna try it? What about, Talison thought this mm. up, and it was brilliant, zone of truth, since one of them, are th like, since they're kind of lying to each other, if we cast that, <laughs> and then they're forced to be honest with each other, <laughs> would they start infighting? They might. They might. I'm gonna try that one. What's the range on the spell? Uh, 15 feet. foot radius sphere. So it's around you. Um, so you'd have to be. Oh, close. range sixty feet. Oh, range sixty feet. Oh, then I'm never sorry. Mind. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, gotcha. my bad. So yeah, like, you could cast it at a distance right. if you'd like. Do you want to do that? Hmm. Yeah. Takes a swig. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is the weirdest. So, <laughs> the weirdest play. We're the worst crew ever. Like, so, oh, you say that. <laughs> just keep in mind, it only lasts ten minutes. But that All should right. be yeah, enough that's time, like right? More than enough. It's a lifetime right. in D and D. All right. Twenty. Right. So you walk up, you kind of put out your, your uh, gauntleted paladin hand and concentrate. There's a brief Sweating. shimmer of energy <laughs> around that group. Uh, what's your spell DC? It should be under your, uh, uh, under your attacks area there. Spell DC is 14. 14, all right, so for each. Nope, that is a 12 minus one. Yeah. 
That is a 10 minus 1. Yes. And that's cocked. That is a three minus one. <gasps> so Did we do it? Did we do it? All, all, all three of them failed, and so as they're they're eating, oh. the other one turns to the other and goes, "Well, I mean, I'm really just saying what I want so I can eat this food." <laughs> the other one goes, "I find that very hurtful." <laughs> and the other head turns back and goes, "Well, you never." Pay attention to my needs. <laughs> and that one goes, your needs are my needs. We're the same body. The other one goes, but I wish we weren't. Always, always the same body. And the other one looks this back at it and goes, Dr. Phil standing off the side. I think we understand what these people really, they're not <laughs> monsters at all. <laughs> so you lied to me. I've never lied to you. How often do you lie? <laughs> and the other one goes, all the time. <laughs> that way I eat twice as much as you. <laughs> and starts getting confused as to why this deluge is happening. The other two ogres kind of stand up and go, um, boss, why are you being so honest? <laughs> and kind of looks at me and goes, you be quiet, you dumber than rest. And you, the one with his finger in the ear, I only saved you because you carry all the heavy goods. And he, that one looks back at him and goes, Yeah, makes sense. And they go back to eating. Oh, oh come on! It. What else are you going to do? Do you want to incite this? You got to find something to trigger it. I don't have anything that would work, I think, from a distance, like to slap one of them or whatever. You know, like if, with, in, amongst the arguing. <sighs> Does anybody have a spell that I, can hit him from okay, a distance? Okay, I don't know if I want to. I have always. I have a third level uh, uh, spell, Psychic Scream. <gasps> you project a phantasmal image of a creature's worst fears. It's a radius around you, though. So you, you gotta get closer. To them. Between yeah. the honesty and now potentially let's, let's, seeing Let's try Pirate, Pirate Roberts this shit. Let's do it. <laughs> These guys are gonna be like, what kind of bad I'm ergot did we eat? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do a Psychic Scream. This is the so stupidest you just move. <laughs> just, as, as the two heads move are- Worst <laughs> captain ever. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Worst captain ever. You know what? You're drunk. You as know what? as <laughs> the two it's heads fine. are still arguing at this point, the captain just takes a swig and charges in the middle of the ogre's turn and go, Oh shit, sorry. Where'd he come from? Strange little man. Uh, as you charge in, they have to roll, what's your spell DC? Uh, my spell DC is plus, uh, spell DC is 15. Uh, no, that's a 13. Uh, that is a 13 again. Go on. And that is another natural one. All right, so ah. they, they all get up and pull their weapons f free and go, you. And they just go running away from you, just scattering into the woods. They drop their boar behind. And I you, want to know what the greatest fear was, to be fair. They don't, <laughs> 20 foot radius. They just go vanishing off into, into the nearby <laughs> the brush. In this brief moment, you guys manage to run up and kind of scavenge, taking this uh, the stone uh, box, kind of pulling it free from the vines, uh, tr heading off to the side of the tree line so in case they do come back, you're not present. Opening the box, you do find within inside what looks to be about a six inch uh, long, very sharp pointed uh, shard of azurite materials. Da, 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 that you can decide what to do with it. At which point you hear <coughs> this sharp crack in the sky above, and the ground rumbles even stronger, and you glance up to see that little plume of smoke has grown wider, and the smoke darker, and time is running short as you quicken your pace and head towards the base of the mountain. And that's where we're going to finish this half of the session. Oh my we'll god! Pick up the next moment. Oh, that's cool. Woo. As the rumbling of the mountain continues to occasionally pulse through the island, the Alliance, having made haste without rest, managed to reach the base of the mountain in advance of the opposing side. You guys have had the opportunity to survey the, uh, the land. You've, you've gained some information from the time that you've had here. You notice as three figures emerge from the brush. So first, I would ask the Alliance, you can place yourselves wherever you'd like on this battlefield. This is the mountain side here. The jungle line is beyond the board in that direction. Nullis, hide yourself here. I'm gonna take right by the, yeah. And I'm gonna take a hide action. Make a stealth check. That's 18 plus uh, nine, so that's a 27. Woo. Lovingly, 
you guys have no idea that he exists. Uh, <laughs> Place yourself here in front of myself. Place myself in the open. Ooh. Here. Before, before I go into hiding, can I drop some ball bearings? You may. Just that little pit between the two cliffs, right next to the lava, right over here. Okay. That does make noise. Yeah. So as you guys emerge from the jungle line, you glance up, you see some quick movement. You watch as an armored stout dwarf with dark kind of fold over hair, kind of Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 3 style, <laughs> um, goes very awkwardly climbing up the side of this portion of the rock and then is it. trying to hide around a rock. Well, and that's it, not you put me there? But I, thought we had, I thought we had 20 minutes to oh. be able to do that. Well, you had 20 minutes to look at the environment. You didn't know when they were emerging until then. Uh. <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, I'm in the open. <laughs> so, um, you do see up here on the edge of the mountain range amongst these large spiky veins of azurite that you can see scattered amongst the base of this mountain. This must have been the mother load that had been whispered about throughout the various halls of the Horde across the islands nearing Kul Taras. You begin to move ahead where you guys can place yourselves where you'd like to be on the opposite end of the battlefield. Okay. I say we stay together. Okay, Don't I split like that. up, we have to stay together. All right. So let's get on the opposite side, right there. Opposite side? We're sticking together. We, 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 like we need it. each other right now. Yeah. Yeah, stick okay. together. Thanks right for an together. easier target. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That dude's trying to steal my style. As it's got you, the emo hair. I know, I know this. As you guys begin to approach, you see the one clearly visible figure up here, if you would mind describing what they see. Staring down with you with steel eyes, I, the left one covered with a patch. Scar flowing in the wind, the waves of heat emanating from the lava that stands between our party and yours. This guy kind of looks like a tool. I think we can take him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, like, um, I think I recognize this guy. You do, Thodak, actually. I Looking recognize. up at this figure, it's been a little bit of time, but you recognize the attire, you recognize the sense of self-importance, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you recognize the, uh, the familiar eye patch. Thodak? Yes, Thodak, if you would like to describe yourself. I am Thodak, the blacksmith. Long dreadlocks going down to the middle of my back, but tied up and a nice, neat, battle-ready bow, a ponytail in the back, and very, very big, very large, burn marks from me making my weapons, and I have a great ax that I have fashioned myself in order to handle guys like you. Seems like I've already done that with you. We've had this past before, and uh, it seems like I've taken out your eye. Ooh. So as I'm a little bit more narcissistic, than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Only just I, think I, got, I got one on it. <laughs> so at that moment, as you guys step forward, kind of out into the open, mm -hmm. your eyes meet in that moment, that, 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 that mutual <laughs> eye, yeah. mutual recognition hits, and there's a moment of silence until one of you decides to break it. I use thaumaturgy. If I'm ever going to make an impression on a social interaction, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> Thodak! We meet again. Come. Share a drink with me. I think you might remember this gourd of grog. I gained it from you. You also took something from me. My eye. Make no mistake. I mean to take much more of that from you. <laughs> what is your name? Your intelligence has not improved since we last met. Oh, Arnost yeah. Winborn. Met on the field of battle. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't expect a delight for like you to remember just flailing your axe about this nick you gave me. You bruised my heel, and I shall crush your head. I remember you. Okay, so what is this going to be? This right, we we are here to find this Azerite. Are you looking for revenge? Or? Oh, sorry, we've been waiting so long. <clears throat> we are looking for revenge. No, 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 no. Conquest. This is for everything. This is not for menial battle. We have that in our past. With you, however, I shall make an exception. This is personal. 
The rest of this is professional. We will take what is on the top of this mountain. We will leave you here to do with it whatever you wish. For our sails shall be in the wind with all of this Azerite. Well, first of all, I'm not leaving empty-handed. And we've come all this way. We've gone through all this stuff on the water. We've got storms and we battled crocoluses. And first of all, if we're gonna have to fight, then let us, let's get down. Oh. Let's make it happen. I heard a small violin play just now for the oh. trials and tribulations that you've endured. I am rolling my eyes with that one. <laughs> really? Is that, a, is that a bit of a dad joke? Yeah. <laughs> These alliance bastards are never gonna give up, Captain. No. They yeah. always want that conquest. Ah, uh, yes, the Brooklyn one. <laughs> <laughs> we met last in the battles with the five boroughs. <laughs> it's I believe Ritz. I got to do a taxi with you once. <laughs> Ritz. The Ritz. The Ritz. To put a name to a face, good sir. There's so many jokes flying through my head, but of course I'm dizzy with wine. <laughs> the Ritz. Are you guys staying back there, or are you advancing as you're making this I conversation? I think we, we advance. All I right. Kinda, I turned my, my teammates and I say, I'm gonna drop a healing totem. If you're around it, 15 feet, it'll give you a little bit of hit points on each round. That's right? Great. That's good. Thanks, so, Little Ritz. I'm 15 drop hit my, points per round? Yeah. Just for us, though, mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. drop it kind of right here, hidden behind. Okay. Um, you being undead, I'm gonna let you <laughs> talk to him. You let cool. me talk to him? Yeah, yeah. I need you to be. Oh, that's so kind boring. Of, kind of negotiate okay. here. Negotiate what? N negotiate the Azerite. Because apparently he's, he wants to take it all. Uh huh. And we have to have. Uh, I already took out his eye, so I know he's trying to kill us. <laughs> but I need you to. We have to work out some kind of sharing. We have to work out an agreement here, or everyone's going to be dead. You want to split it? I, that's, I think that would be the logical thing. It's very we can, at least no one will lose, and we can get out of here. I kind of feel like this guy's never gonna go for that. You don't think that? Well, don't can think you so. explain that to him? I mean, if you want me to, I'll, I yeah. Would. All I'll right. Would. Okay. So, so describe yourself as you emerge from this whisper huddle. Hey, uh, Argonaut. Oh no, st. Arn. Arnest. Ar Arnest. Ernest. Ernest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ernest. Uh, <laughs> Ernest. Uh, Hi, Elvis. Ah, uh, this, this is Elvis. <laughs> I've been uh, sent to talk to you about, you know, splitting this. Maybe we don't have to fight Let's about try. it. Maybe we can just split it and go on our merry way. I have a compassionate cool, that's heart. Me. Let's go. I have a compassionate heart. We shall take no charity from you. Oh. Oh. I'm yeah. telling you, man. All right, yeah. you guys are bastards. Is that good enough? Can we come? I mean, um, what, you got, what do you guys feel about this? Like. I ain't saying anything. I'm, I'm, you don't know I'm here. <laughs> well, actually, let me ask Allison something first. What do you think? I'm going to be doing my own thing, so we'll see how things Staring go. down at Elvis, coolly, calmly, <clears throat> I lift a finger and say, Eddie? Yeah? <laughs> that, was, that was the cue word. You were supposed to... Oh, that okay. part. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit my potion really fast too? Do I you got can. time for that? Yes, All right, so I'll hit my potion. So <clears throat> what does that put me that's, up to? Oh, you gotta roll four. Oh, I gotta four. Roll. four plus four, right? Twice? Yeah, so that's so six. Done. Six. <laughs> and then roll again. Oh, oh, that's 10 plus four, 14. You heal 14. 14? You're, you're, oh, so I'm back you're up. Right back up. Yay, guys, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Can I use my hammer of the righteous to do a side attack? But you can attack and then move back into it mm -hmm. if you want to. Let's do that. Yeah? Well, you kind of already announced the plan. Yep, well, we can still. <laughs> they're just seeing me sucking down some liquids. They don't know what's going on. Oh my god, we're, we're, we're rainbow bright villains. We are, we are rainbow <laughs> bright villains. This is so <laughs> new. <it. laughs> I feel like we're All right. Kids. At the moment of conflict <laughs> beginning, we all have to roll initiative to see mm. where this goes. Yeah. So everyone here, roll initiative. So what's on in, okay, D20. that's a 20. Whoa. Oh! Natty, baby! All right. 19. 15. And I'm 13. With that, as soon as movement shifts, it seems into an aggressive point, you all immediately go into a defensive position. Top of the round, Elvis. 
You're up first. I am going to cast Fire Blast yeah. on Eddie and Ernest. Woo! That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, so that creates three, three. different memes. So uh, two versus who? Two versus Ernest, one versus Eddie. Mm -hmm. All righty, so go ahead and roll for the attack on this one. Come on, so come on. So what's your armor class? Big 12. Money. 12, so. So roll, roll and add your plus uh, seven modifier for the first attack. Plus seven. 20. Whoa! That's 20. 20. Oh, oh no. Yes! Oh. Okay, that's the first one. Second one. Oh dear. Here we go. This might be time oh, to. This hundred. might be time for extreme 18. measures. Eighteen. All right. So that's two oh, no. hits on you, and then roll for the third extreme, one against some Eddie. extreme measures. Thirteen. So twenty Ooh. with the seven. Twenty. Oh with your my armor god! Class. Really? Nineteen. All right. So all three hits. So roll four d six against Arnost, and then roll two d six against Eddie. One. This is this is a critical. Six. So seven times two. That's fourteen, 14. points of fire damage. Okay. And then the next one is four, four and roll again. Two. two, so it's six. All right, so it's 20 points of fire damage you took as these, these arcing blasts of fire shoot out oh, and slam into your body man. straight through the air and then roll 2d6 against Oops. Eddie. Okay. Two, four. So six points of fire damage to you, Eddie. All right. And you can move if you'd like. I will move. Where should I move, Cap? I was thinking of moving here. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. All right, so you move and shift over behind this tree, mm -hmm. kind of getting into that space next to the Azerite. All right, as you move towards the Azerite and kind of hold your position there, there's this weird like surge of arcane power that kind of fills you. Ooh, oh. mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that ends Elvis's turn. Now we have uh, Eddie and uh, mm -hmm. Thodak going at the same time. Could you guys Ooh. both roll dexterity checks to see who goes first, since you're on the same Timeline. So go ahead right. and roll a d20 and add your dex bonus, which is zero for you. So just a straight roll there it is. And for you. So five. five. Four plus oh, one. Oh, no, five. wait. Five. Five. Do, do, five. Does she get advantage on that roll or no? An ability check you do because you're so next to roll, so roll again. I rolled five. Come on. You rolled five? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. One more. That's okay. That's six. That'll push you ahead just of Thodak. Oh! oh. Yeah. We got five. So oh, the pro. Five. The, <laughs> the, pro the proximity of the Azerite instilling you with its energy gave you the ability to just push over there, so you get to go just before Thodak. What are you doing, Eddie? Ah, so. well, I'm going to go for Thodak. Okay. Oh. So you can move. You got this cap. There, we get you right. And Eddie versus Thodak. <laughs> this, 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 this dwarf do. rushes around the corner, dark hair in the face, a little bit of eyeliner, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> with a shield and a large warhammer swinging in your direction. What are you doing? I'm gonna do a, 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 oh god, I've got a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack. That's so big. I got a big old axe too, boy. Hammer of the Righteous. All right, so you use your bonus action to cast Hammer of the Righteous. You watch as the dwarf turns around, uh, raises their hand, and a flash of divine energy swirls around their Warhammer. So go ahead and roll for an attack. Okay. The first one. Oh. Two plus six. six. Eight. Your armor class is. 18. 18. Nope. Yeah, no. The no hammer goes way. flying shh, ping, and just gl glides off right of the heavy the armor. Right up on the grip. Too much. 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 Too Dice, if you do not work, I am literally going to throw you across the room. <laughs> Please do this. Eleven. Plus, 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 plus six. six. Oh, no. Seventeen. Just under the under. armor class. Go. go to swing and just deflects off the blade. No impact. The spell's still active. You're still concentrating. So next attack, you can still hit with it, but unable but to. I don't have break. anything these two times. All right. No. I just pout. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Full of frustration and inner hate. And with that, <laughs> Thodak, it's your for turn. Myself. Okay. Now, I'm going for it. I'm, I got it. it. I, I'm attacking. So. Are you going after? I'm uh, going after her. She, so, she started it. I, yeah. I, I was <laughs> diplomatic in the beginning. It's true. Time. Now they they let me know. It, it's, they're not listening. Let's go. Just All right. My boss. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and make you have uh, two attacks against them. Okay. So it'll be uh, uh, seven. Seven. Seven plus seven. What's your armor class? Uh, 19. No. So you guys trade blows again. Shh. Uh, the dwarf deflects the blow with the shield. Okay. I can't do this. I just know. <laughs> <laughs> Under the armor? In, your in your heart. my yeah. heart, it yeah. is happening. Yeah, no, it's really good. You can do it now. It's happening. Get your next attack. I got another one. Come on, come 
Come on, throw that. Oh, oh. oh. no. Just trading blows, no oh, impact. No, Weapons off armor. That being said, I'm sure Shink. we look super cool right now. It's, <laughs> just, it's pretty yeah, smart yeah. looking. It's just not gonna lie. It's, just, it's like medieval uh, times. Just. Are you yeah. gonna stay where you are, or do you want to try to move around to the other side? I, of I, I want to. I, I, I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna get, I gotta get her around. Right, I'm, will, I'm trying to meet a, up with this man right okay. here. She oh. will get a free strike against you if you move out of her melee range, but mm. that's up to you. You got pretty high armor class. You're yeah, cool. yeah, I'm pretty high. I'm All pretty right, high. so you're gonna be moving where? I'm, I got. Uh, I'm gonna get up. Let me get right here. All right. So. So you get a free Four, swing. Five, six. six. About get about there. there. Yeah. Okay. So take, a, take a swing. I get a swing. Yes, you do. Yeah. So make another attack. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! 13. 13. Plus six, 19. That hits. You got me. Nice. Damn. You Ugh. feel the impact from behind Ugh. as you try and move. So go ahead and roll your damage for your Warhammer. All right. Somewhere. Yeah. Which is 40. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah. Seven plus three plus five 15. is 15. Yeah. Yeah, so you take 15 points of damage as the hammer nice. slams in the back Very of your nice. armor as a flash of holy light as you feel it sear out. even your, your back beneath the metal. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, Eddie's no, turn. Was, was Ritz, you're up. All right. Captain, between Eddie and Ernest, who do we not want to deal with the most? <laughs> Arnold. Arnold. It's Arnold. a family name. <laughs> I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to move up a little bit, and I'm going to cast Hex. There you go. Work your magic. I have not had a chance to defend myself. <laughs> You're the one that all. sticked out right into the middle. Yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. right there next to it. You know, like. I'm going to say, Captain, do you like frogs? And I'm going to turn Arnest into a frog. Yeah. You need to make a constitution saving throw for me. Uh, with advantage, because you are in proximity to it. See? Here to help. Ha ha ha. See the R's in there. 13 Go for plus it, yeah. one, 14. Right. What's the DC on it? 14. So you succeed. Oh. Damn it! You resist it, unfortunately. Oh. So you, you feel this this magical impact, and your body feels like it's wanting to shrink and condense oh, into a smaller wait. form. Plus advantage, because I'm by the hazard, right? Yeah, you can roll again if you want to, but you already, wait, you already got it. I thought you said that she succeeded. Oh, oh no, 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 sorry, you sorry, did. You you succeeded. Did. Yeah, I so, succeeded. So you're you got it. You, you, re, you resist the effect. You are not transformed into a frog, which would have been bad. That, that would have been amazing. Damn, that would have been so bad. I know it would have gone so good with the frog. Yeah. Although, although, although. Still would have been devilishly handsome. A very handsome. Yeah, that's true. A very <laughs> handsome. <laughs> I'm gonna use yeah, the, the rest of my movement yeah. to go back the yep. other two and kind of okay. tuck in that. here. Okay. Didn't work. Get safe. Yeah. 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 Arnost, you're up. I want to first heal from what Elvis did to me. All right. So I'm gonna take my potion of greater healing. Go for it. So roll your 44 um, plus four. 44 plus four. What? Right. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, that's it. Just those so two twice in a row. These two. Yep. Come here, you. That's three, and then roll it again. Uh, four, five plus four. So you heal nine hit points. Nine hit points. So <clears throat> I take a swig from the potion as if it's a whiskey. I wipe my lips. <laughs> I feel like he's had practice. With this. <laughs> it's really, like, it's such a smooth movement. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that. I needed a drink. Okay, all right. <laughs> and as a bonus action, cast Smite. All righty. Against uh, Elvis. Elvis. Elvis, I need you to go ahead and make a, is it a wisdom saving throw? It is a oh, dexterity, dexterity saving throw. Here we go. 15, That's 18 with my dexterity. Yes, that is enough. That's so enough. Yeah. You try and smite. And it, <laughs> it was just more of a this, so that's cool. <laughs> I ain't trying to hire nobody. Man, it feels like we're so evenly matched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to move or you stay put? All right, so let's go back to the 50 50 thing. Maybe, maybe. No. <laughs> so now I do what? You can move if you'd like, or do you want to stay put? Um, you have a, a large, hulking, armored. Uh, orc rushing in your direction. The only thing that I can do right now is either move or not move, correct? correct. Yeah, because you've used your action and your bonus. I choose to stay. All right. As uh, as Arnost holds his ground, Nullis, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to just pop around just close enough to get uh, close enough to the Azerite on that corner right there. Mm -hmm. Not all the way around, just right. going to tap the Azerite. Uh, and I'm going to take a shot at, at Ritz with my pistol. Okay. So I get advantage on that shot? It is your first attack that yeah. round, so, so yeah. All right. Oh, I love those die. 
Uh, that's an 18, so yeah, 18 plus 6, that's a that 24. Hits. Five hits. Yeah. Darling, you got hit. Ritz! Uh, it's not much, but let's take uh, seven points of piercing damage seven. to Ritz. Oh. Ritz, make a concentration check to see if your healing stream totem is maintained. Okay, I've got to roll above eight, right? Yes, I'm good. Yes. Right? No. no. That's no. two plus my... No, it does not, I guess. That's Killing my stream cow. totem vanishes. <laughs> it can, don't get Close to have spell. that. I'm now going to try and curl around as, as far down. I'm going to try and hide if, if either I can, if I can manage to get to that tree trunk. You can if you use a bonus action to dash. That's right, I have a bonus action still. Yes, but you won't have one to hide. Um, I'll then, is it possible to get into that bramble and hide or like pull off to the side and hide? Uh, it's unfortunately that space is blocked, so you're gonna have to either stay up here and hide, over here and try and hide. It's up to you. Uh, can I drop down one and hide? Right there? Yeah. In that, in you that can little... try, it'll be harder, but go for it. I'm gonna hide there and go for it. Roll stealth check. All right. Uh, that's uh, 27, 18 plus 9, that's a 27. Just for the hell of it, roll a perception check. So roll a d20. Ooh, come on, Captain. <laughs> come on, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Captain. <laughs> come on, Captain. <laughs> camp, 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 camp. camp. Three. Damn. Yeah, so you don't see Nullis. Oh. Yep. You hear this gunshot go off. Out of nowhere. Hell just gets yeah, hit. Yeah. <laughs> you, look, you see some movement and then it's gone. I'm, I'm, I'm also just going to point out for the next for the next round that um, there are ball, ball bearings directly where. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Where just, did you put those? Just, well, we'll see how that yeah. goes. <laughs> that brings us to the top of the round <laughs> now. It's back to Elvis's turn. But as that's happening, the ground quakes again. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Oh, and you watch as at the base of the mountain, right here, the rock begins to shift and move as the shale begins to splinter yes. and open as a hulking form emerges from the volcano. Oh. As this elemental lord oh. with a giant shard of azurite protruding from its chest, its eyes wild with madness. <laughs> it's gonna go ahead and take a swing uh, with reach against you. Yeah! And it's going to take a swing with reach against you. Okay. Oh, whew. I thought that was going to be me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're right there. We're right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, that's that's going to be a 19 to hit against you. What's your armor class? 18? 18. That hits. Ah. Just such a cinematic moment. <laughs> the two captains <laughs> and then oh. right in between. You take, <laughs> we uh, must bond together. <laughs> take eight points of damage. Yes. And then attacking you. Uh, that's going to be a 23 to hit. I'm pretty Ooh. sure that hits you. And you take, uh, uh, that's another, uh, that's seven points of damage. Okay, so I'm down to 22. So, that, so it just that, slams that out to each had, of you. That's like 27 right now. Yeah. Okay. I got you, Cap. Okay. And you, can, you can see how like the, the Azurite's protruding from it right now, and it's, it's just in the process of frenzy raging at everything in its vicinity. Uh, that brings us to Elvis. I'm going to move. Yeah. Five, ten, ten. Yeah, I guess you right up there on that right edge of the 30, cliff, yeah, right there. That's and I'm also next to the Azerite, right? So I'm you going are. to try to freeze Arnast with Frost Nova. You're using Not Frost Nova. Yes, that's a bonus action, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So, so you watch as the undead mage kind of rushes, scrambles up the cliffside, uh, right almost near your face, Arnast, before a blast of cold, freezing energy radiates outward. Um, what is the uh, the effect of the spell? Uh, let's see. They have to make a dexterity saving throw. So go ahead and roll. You do have advantage because of the uh, as well. Oh! Natural oh. 20 resistance. Oh. Yeah. Not great, not great. Uh, they not take great. half of the damage. Right, so roll damage and you take half of it. So 1d8 plus And you are not, you are not frozen right? in place. It, it seems like it would lock you into your current okay. position, but uh, you manage to break free of it. It doesn't Six. have as much of an impact. So you take three points of cold damage. So now I will throw a fireball at the dude in the middle. Big, okay. big, big bad boy. Go for it, roll an attack. Okay. My feeling is big Nice. 16. Yes. 16 year old plus seven. Plus seven. That hits, go and roll damage. 2d, 2D 10 fire damage to the, uh, the oh. earth elemental lord. Eight. Ooh. Ooh. Seven. Nice, 15 points of damage. Yes. After it's finished raging and swinging its fists around, <laughs> you blast it in the side with a fireball as it spins around. <laughs> it looks like a large part of its chunk just kind of blasted out. There's a crater there that's still kind of burning in embers from what you left behind. Okay, nice. Good job. That Good ends job. your turn? That is my turn. Alrighty, that brings us to Eddie. You're on deck. What would you like to do? 
Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm You're the captain. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have to, sometimes you have to make your own choices in battle. What do you want to do? Oh I am turning back around. I'm coming after you again. All right, so you move and climb over the top, landing on the side. Can I can I land in a way that gets me next to the for the bonus? Uh, right there, you can. Yeah. Okay. So your first strike has advantage as you swing down. No. Actually, yeah. no, no, you wouldn't no, be able to no. get next to it because you're right there. All right. Yeah, awesome. so you wouldn't wouldn't be able to. You'd be there. What what what, what do you want to yeah, say? No, 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 no. I'm just trying to figure I out. I haven't where the... fully planted my feet in yeah. the lava yet. I'm dancing. I could still move. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. I could still. It's move. your maneuver. What you got? All right, I'm gonna just try. So two and... strikes at at uh, Thodak. Go for it. Hammer of the Righteous back on Hodak. How do I? All right, so you use another Hammer of the Righteous. This All right. one, right? So bonus action, yep, and then make your attack. Wait, how many, oh wait, so I'm down to one, wait, no, I'm down to three you've, right here, right? You're down to three, yes. Yeah. So this okay. would be your, you'd be using another one, so you're down to two after <coughs> Shifting gears, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna help for the greater cause. I'm gonna go after him. All right, go ahead and make a swing. Oh, you love that five. 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 Eleven. 11, 11 yeah. is the armor class. That hits. Okay, oh, cool. Right. Good. It's Good. a very awesome. big creature. It's not very hard to hit. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. point. So go ahead and roll your damage on that. It's the uh, d8 plus 2d6. Okay, roll that, and then you. plus 3 to this. Oh, I mean, seven. Seven? 10. So 10 points of damage. Mm -hmm. It's All not right. bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. No. You're and not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you get your second attack. You get to swing again, too. Oh, and I get to swing again. Yes, you Same do. Same thing, right? Uh, Same roll? No, mm -hmm. the uh, other one. And this then, one, and then that one again? Yeah, and then just the d8 this next time. Six? Is that a six or a nine? So that's six. six. Yep, six. that hits as well. Uh, six, right. six plus six brings it to 12. 12. So one d8. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> How many hit points do you have? Um, 27. Three. So six points of damage. Okay. So with both slams of your warhammer into it, you're like carving away bits of its uh, harder kind of shale exterior. Uh, it's taking damage, and you can see it's it's mm -hmm. it's not in danger or anything, but it's you know yeah. it's definitely able to uh, to be carved away over time. That ends your turn. Okay. You're up, Thodak. All right. All right. Thodak. I, I say, get out of that, I yeah. I, I listen. Let's let's get this big thing out of the way. I want. I'm, I'm swinging right at him. All right, you're just out of range to strike it because it's uh. just a little bit of lava. So you have to move around and. Oh, up if you want. okay. Then then I'll do some movement. Yeah, I think I, can I get day. behind him and you then can, strike you can move up, up here to the back. There. there we go. There we go. Um, nice. You do get a swing on him as he moves out of your movement if you want to take yeah, it. Yeah, take a little pot shot. Go for it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> Go like, swing on me! Out of you, roll, roll to <laughs> you are, you are, you are going to lose a reaction, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. What's that, that mean? Mean? That means that if, if if the if the big guy tries to do anything else, you don't have anything else you can do off your turn. So there is yeah. that. You do lose something. I'm just a little reminding you. Your call. See, what do you do? Yeah, you go I'm here to help. Yeah. You know what? You're like so I'm tempting. Your you're lying. Lying. You're good. Good. I don't even know what happened. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's not forget it's what the true. main goal it's here true. is, mm. team, and that is to beat these guys. Right. So, true. okay. I on the prize. Ooh, 16. Oh yeah. Plus six is 22. That hits. Oh. So go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, it just D8 plus three. That does hit. This guy again, yep. right? You got it. It's all right. I got you, Cam. <sighs> Five. So it's eight, eight that points that of damage five. to you again <laughs> from behind. Eight points of damage and I'm now. Like, oh boy. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Modak. The rest Starts of your turn. Some She's swinging at me. I'm hitting me over here, but I still want to get this creature out of the way. All right, so you're so, making two attacks against it. Go for it. Okay, here we go. He can't split his attacks, can he? Can Eleven. That just barely hits. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So roll damage on that first strike. And damage two. Two plus four, so that's six damage to okay. it. All right, and you can make your next swing if you'd like. Here we go. Eighteen. That yeah. is. Yeah, All right. So better. damage on the second strike. Yes. Go for it. Here's the damage. Big money. Oh, oh. Uh, one. Five. However, you do have. You should have charged up from the damage you've yes. taken in the hits. You should have uh, four rage. Oh up. yeah, 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 yeah. By now. Yeah, because I've been getting smacked. Getting hit. Yeah. So that ends your turn. Uh, Ritz, you're up. All right. All right, Ritz. Now let's see. I got you, Captain. I'm coming. I'm gonna move my 35 feet to go like here. Okay. Can I still see? I can still see the both of these guys. You can, yes. Oh no! Elvis. She's like, okay, I'm okay. All right, all right, all right. Captain's 30 feet with me. Yes. I am going to do a chain heal. 
Yes. First to, at oh. second level. Oh, damn. First to Captain, and then I'm going to bounce it to Elvis. You're the best. Alrighty. You're the best. Yeah, I got you, Captain. Reese, I love you. <laughs> you've already been, you've been there for me. You know what happened? <laughs> you've had my back. Yeah, you know that time I was seasick for like all night and you brought me? I remember me. that. I yeah. remember that. We go way back. Thanks, Captain. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Hilarious you get, <laughs> I know, right? Eight points to Captain. So five hit points to you, Elvis. Can I borrow this? Can I get five? Thank you. Can. I okay. do. Yes. Oh, you get five. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. All right. Back Great. up. Sweet. Thanks, so that's your, that's Rich. Your movement and action. You're welcome. And then, um, here's my bonus action. I'm gonna drop another totem. I'll put it. Um, sure. Okay. It's not gonna get slowly eaten by the lava. Will no, it? not proximity. No. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. So spoof, another healing stream totem good. drops there on the lying. edge of the lava. I turn to the alliance and I say, you if you guys are nice. You can borrow it. <laughs> you can take advantage, but only if you're nice to us. We tried right? to work it out with you before. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't I'll be so petty. I'll yeah. <laughs> Bring me back up to speed with where I'm at right now, because if I remember correctly, I am not in a good way. No, you're just getting. No, me. you're you're right here, standing where you were. Sure. So I, I'm down to 17. Correct. Well, if we choose to be nice, does that totem affect him? Uh, where he's standing right now? The, if I mean, you're gonna join us and not attack us, then you get an additional three hit points at the top of your turn. Checking out all our options. Uh-huh. Here's the thing, he took my eye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the petty again! Dude, come Don't on, you got, you got two. You know what I mean, you had to. Yeah. Yeah. I got one more. Oh. Um. <laughs> Forgiveness is the only way. Don't forget there's a gigantic so stone demon. On the yeah. <laughs> That's Phil, Phil's fine. <laughs> Everybody is so close to this stone golem in the middle. I turn to my crew and I say, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> we rule this ship by democracy. <laughs> I'm not a tyrant, could use some help. Um, <laughs> Everyone else is in, in good shape. You're in good shape. Mm -hmm. No one has even seen us. I'm a rogue. I'm a. I'm a He's uh, not yeah, even. Yeah. Um, so my crew's not in danger. I think. I wish that I, would I had. Save yourself and go to the totem so and maybe attack. Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Um, Gotta do something. I. I don't want to. <laughs> I love, I love, this is my favorite part of the game. Watching it just kind of. Especially in the beginning of watching, watching someone like realize. His indecisiveness has always been his downfall. Oh! Oh, oh God, it hurts. That's, his, that's the weakness. I hear him whisper that under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> Blinded by passion. It brings me to be enraged. I cast hold person. Oh. oh. Go ahead and make a, uh, a wisdom saving throw, Thodak. Okay. So roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier. And my wisdom plus is... Plus one right there. Yep, oh, there we go. And come on, wisdom. 17! That's <gasps> really good. <laughs> 18! You are rolling oh my very God. well! Yes! Crazy well. So resist the whole person. You feel your muscles begin to lock up and seize, and you shrug off the effect. Oh, man, Glancing over your shoulder, up. you see Arnos there, hand extended towards you, looking a little sheepish. <laughs> I get a bonus action, but I don't get any bonus for being close to the Azerite against him. No, for it's only for, de for your no. defense. Sorry. No. Sorry. Well, I mean, talk about the most impotent play ever. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Welcome, welcome to the Wizards, man. Still well, yeah, welcome to Spells. <laughs> I take the Azerite shard, hold it in the air. He's going to do it. As a bonus action, I jam the shard into my leg, wow. filling me with latent power. Okay. And I laugh because it does, what exactly? <laughs> uh, it, it gives you an additional plus 10 movement. Mm -hmm. So you have more movement speed, you can move further, and uh, you have advantage on strength and dexterity saving throws, as well as ability checks while. So it, it helps you out situationally on certain things, on avoiding spells and things that you have to jump out of the way. So the but I was only suggesting it, and you have 17, and it stops at 15. You have the shard <laughs> in your leg. So yeah, put me there, puts me still close to the Azurite. Yeah. Okay, that ends your turn, Arnast. Nullis, you're up. Can I make it to the big creature? Are you gonna try and go in just straight? Straight, I'm gonna try, yeah. it's, it's back is turned, I'm gonna just gonna go in for, that's a, for a surprise that's what attack. what we gotta do, get, get rid of him first. Uh, you can if you use your bonus action to dash. I'll use my bonus action to dash. Right, there you go. Get her on that fine. I get you right, in order to do it, you have to get right next. Okay, I know, I'm gonna, to I'm just gonna, 
We're working on And I'm going to do a cheap yeah. shot. I'm going to take a cheap shot against the creature. Uh, we had to be stealth to do so. Well, so. wasn't I I was stealth down there. Uh, I was. I you were actually, yeah. So, so you would have, with the dash action, you get there, and it hasn't quite noticed your presence. So, mm -hmm. all right. So it's to make a Constitution saving throw. Yep. That is a five plus uh, five, so t ten. Your DC is fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. So you gain two combo points. Yes, and I do. It is stunned. Ooh, okay. that's Which fun. means it cannot take any action on its next turn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. There we go. Which is good because we it's are its not turn a next. team. <laughs> <laughs> How much speed do I still have? Le do I have any speed left? You have maybe ten feet. Is this um, the first we're seeing of him too? Yeah, you, so he just yeah. appears. He just next a, a, appears <laughs> after slapping the side a, of this a, creature's a, head. Yeah, a, an elf, and she looks like she's basically made of marble in a cloak with swords. Is just and just is obviously bored by everything. She's just <laughs> unhappy with this whole situation. So you do have movement if you want to move somewhere. Although I have in reaction. Uh, yeah, it's up to you. Um, you haven't been hurt yet. It's your call. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna hold. Okay, that finishes your turn. Mm -hmm. It is now the elementals' turn. It is sitting there, <laughs> unable to move from being sapped in the back of the head with its with the, with the base of your rapier. Uh, it loses its turn, can't act, and nice. regains it after the end. So that's all it can do. It can't attack anybody. Mm -hmm. Elvis, you're up. I'm gonna take a, a three healing. You got three hit points. Yep. Which is great. Thank you, mm -hmm. the Ritz. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to cast. Can I target? Uh, what is your name? Uh, kind uh, elf lady? Nellis. Nellis. So I'm going to do a fire blast. Cool. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay, Ooh. one to each. One to each. So go ahead and roll first for Nellis. Plus seven. 20. Natural 20! Yeah, wow! Uncanny dodge. Isn't that like your third roll? All right, so you, take, so you take half damage. So go ahead and roll, and that's a roll, roll 2d6. 2d6. Five. Five. Ten. So it would be 10 to 20, you uncanny dodge, so back it's back to 10. ten. So you have oh. 10 points of fire damage. Roll against the elemental. Okay. 12 plus Four. 7, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Two, six. One. Four. Four. Three. Three. Seven points of fire damage to the elemental. And okay. then roll against uh, the, Eddie? Eddie the dwarf, yes. Okay. Seven plus seven. Plus seven, seven, plus seven, seven 14. 14, that misses. Damn. That's good. All right. It, it, it just, just goes am. back You're on the outside, very hard splashing off of armor really with no impact. Oh. Okay. The oh. elemental is starting to look pretty hurt. Best. All right. And then uh, I'm going to. Move. Hmm. No, actually, I'm gonna s stay where I am. All righty. So you're still right there, riding in the proximity of the Azerite and the t totem. Gotcha. Uh, all right, Eddie, you're up next with Thodak on deck. Okay. I'll heal him. Okay. Yeah, he's within range. <laughs> well, begrudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> Plus four. So. Four. So you heal eight hit points. Yay. <laughs> and is that my, I'm done? That's your action. You still have your bonus action and movement if you have anything. Um, movement, you know what? I'm actually going to come up around behind you guys if I can and attack. Is it, are we, would I still be attacking from the back then on the golem? You, you have to, unfortunately, those two spaces are taken. Yeah, can I take this one? Uh, this one, you're not close enough to attack it. You'd have to either move here or uh -huh. somehow get a crossover. If you move there, you, if you move there, you get advantage because it's, it's yeah. light. Yeah. Okay, let's go, where? Here? Yeah. Yeah, let's move there. Technically, that's an advantage point, right? Kind of, no, sort of. Not. I feel okay. kind of exposed, I'll be All honest. Right, so you're, you're there, like at the edge, the lava is kind of there, popping at your toes, the heat's in I'm your like, face. This and is like, my dream come true! I'm so goth right now! <laughs> <laughs> that ends Eddie's turn. Thodak, you're up. This man right next to me, he shows up, he's, the, he's out of nowhere. I, 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 I'm gonna drop him. I'm gonna drop <laughs> him. Oh. Because these guys haven't been nice to us the whole time. Fair the enough. is over. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so right, what do I do? This so roll the attack plus I seven. I roll the 20. Bam. 13. 13. Well, so that's 20. Which oh, yeah, that hits. So I that hits. That hurts. And now damage. Yep, you have to spend rage if you want to. I'm going to go with a hamstring. All right, so, oh you, so you use one of your rage. I use one rage. Smart move. Go with a hamstring. So roll, roll, roll your attack plus 1d4, and then add that to it. Okay, well. and then the d4, Man, thank you. Again, so yeah. six plus three, so it's nine points of damage you take, All right. and your movement is halved until that's the end of your next turn. Yeah, I want to hobble this guy. All right, All right. That's, All right. that's what you right. get for being stealth, man. That's what you get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, hide <laughs> See how now you're gonna look your way through this sucker. And you have a second attack if could, you want to. Okay. Can I make a recommendation that Yo, maybe please, you, you put it on the dude? You don't have to hit him twice. You could hit big boy. Because he's, he's, oh, okay. yeah. he's hurting. Uh, right, so a second attack is on the on the big boy. If you, All right. want. Here we if go. you want. If you want to. Yeah, I, I do. All right. I so do so, so do you, you slice across the back of the rogue's Thanks, legs, kind of hobbling its movement. I hobbled him. And then turn and swing for the creature. Now I'm going for the creature. 
Nice. Ten. 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 Yes. Ten plus seven. That hits. That's, okay. that's seventeen. So you can you can either gain a rage or spend rage to use another ability. I okay. will go with mortal strike. Go for it. So you spend two rage, two, and then two uh, rage are gone, and then you get to roll both of these for damage. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Okay. Oh, oh. So six plus one. So that's seven plus four. Eleven points of damage to the creature. Uh huh. You carve back with the axe and watches it crumbles underneath. Oh. How do you want to finish it? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. How do you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. All right. I see it crumble. Now I take uh, I take my axe one more time and I swing it back with this gigantic swing and both sinewy biceps <laughs> go down. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna really milk this. And then he oh, just oh, go man, right so down chatty. in the center of his head. <laughs> and his brain just split, his head just splits open like a cantaloupe, a rocky cantaloupe. <laughs> it right explodes from it. Oh, I just sit there with it. Like, ah! And you watch as it crumbles yes. down, its body just kind of yes. falling apart into large chunks of stone and volcanic rock, Woo. splashing into the lava. You actually have to kind of take a step back, Eddie, as it's going to sh- around. Yeah, yeah. But the creature is no more, leaving the battlefield Woo. now, just the Horde and the Alliance. Oh, just as we oh. planned. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aha, you're falling into our trap. <laughs> <laughs> So as the elemental's body crumbles and folds into piles of volcanic rock and shale splashing into the molten rock, causing Eddie to have to step back a bit as it begins to spatter in the vicinity, uh, the rest of the battlefield is left bare of what seemed to be the elemental threat, leaving nothing but the Horde and Alliance to continue their clash. Ending your turn, Thodak, that brings us to the Ritz. (laughs) If you've taken any damage, you heal three, because you're within 15 feet of your totem. Uh. (laughs) Okay. I'm gonna pop out from just behind a little bit. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna say, for the horde! Yeah! <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a chain lightning strike, first Ooh. targeting Eddie, and oh, then man. jumping to Nella. 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 Yes. Nella. And then jumping to uh, Ernest. You could have worked with this man. <laughs> <laughs> you could have done it. This is, so you guys are dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I had a healthy revenge. (laughs) Respectable. So dexterity check from you first. Uh, Which is a roll a d20 and add your your uh, your dexterity saving throw. Oh yeah. Nineteen plus one is twenty. So that's that's, so half damage. So roll damage. Half damage on uh, that one. Okay, so this is five d six. Six. Three for nine. One. One. So that's ten. Another three for 13, and another six for uh, 18. 19. 19, 19. 19. 19 so total. So halved for, for taking it? For, uh-huh. for making, so you take uh, nine points of, of uh, lightning damage, so mm-hmm. reduced okay. by nine. Okay. And then it arcs 3d6 to the other two. All right, so to roll 3d6 for uh, both of them. Two. Five. Uh, nope, that's. Oh three. yeah, five. So that's five total. Three. And then uh, three. Three. And another three. Eight. Uh. So it's eight damage to both of you. Okay. Both of you, do they make saving throws as well? Yes, oh. DC 14. Yeah, so both of you guys make... Constitution that. saving throw for them, though. Okay. Uh, nope. I rolled a one, so nope. So <laughs> that's eight, points, eight of, points of damage. Points of damage, and then I'm you go ahead and roll... Uh, Dexterity. Uh, Constitution. 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 Mm. Natural 20. Oh. So you take four points of damage. How far are you from me? Uh, I mean, we'll see how things go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hide again. <laughs> uh, there you go. Sticking back by the eyes, right? Sticking back by the eyes. All right, that finishes Ritz's turn. Arnost, you're up with Nullis on deck. So I feel I'm in a better place. I'm still half. I have the shard of Azerite, which mm-hmm. allows me to do some cool stuff. If I can find it, yep. where is that? The shard. Oh. Oh, it's it's extra and 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 advantage on. On pretty much saving throws and checks. Yeah, for for strength and dexterity saving throws, you have advantage, right. and you have plus ten movement. Yeah. So, so yeah. Nellis, you've always been my first mate. You've always been great and steady counsel. I turn to you in this moment to ask you. I'm feeling that I want to throw penance, but I want to level it up to a second level. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And then, as my bonus action, do um, shadow word. Ooh, that's really cool. Pain. Yeah, you can do that. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> my penance, yeah, 
Well, you will, I'm sure, describe this. Mm -hmm. So I leveled up my penance to so second, second level, level. Against? Which gives me one last uh, second level slot. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so roll to hit with penance first. Who are you targeting? I figured. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> um, this is personal. I'm waiting for you. Now, because you are next to the Azerite, you have advantage on this attack. Okay. So oh, roll twice. Boy. 10. 10 plus, plus oh, advantage, 7. Though. So that's 17, and then uh, roll okay. one more time. Yeah, roll one more time if you like, yeah. Woo! That's, a, that's a plus 7 to a 14. That's a 21. Oh, that hits. That does hit. So go ahead and roll your uh, level, your damage for penance, which would be at second level. Uh, it's 4d6. d 6 holy damage. What is it? We'll see. He's going to roll some damage. Oh, here. man. One. 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 Yes. Four. So six. Five, 11. so 11. Five, 16, you take 16, 16. points of holy damage. <gasps> as this, this burst of holy energy <laughs> blasts into your chest, <laughs> arcing off this wave. Uh, so you mark that down. So and then I also do six, shadow so this word. Is my hit points, right? Yeah, so you Pain. And an ally of your choice gets to regain 1d6 hit points, which technically. That was going to be an ally. Mm, yep. So go ahead and roll 1d6 for him. So Nellis heals up one hit one point. point. Not That's all right. like this purple dot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not treating you well right now. And you're putting Shadow Word Pain? Shadow Word I'm Pain. 14. On to Thodak. All right, so Thodak, after, after that blast hits, uh, you watch as Arnos reaches out once more and summons this kind of shadow energy that clings to your body. Make a constitution saving throw for me. Yes. So roll a d20. Uh, d20. Yep. And add five to this. Natural one. Oh. Oh. Shadow Word Pain. As you feel this kind of pulsing dark energy <laughs> in your body, it doesn't affect you yet. But at the okay. top of your turn, you're going to start taking damage. Okay. No. All right. I got you. I got you. And that's, that's that. Bed, you want to move? Man, to stay where you so are. Pretty. I know. I'm going to stay where I am. All right. That ends your turn. Uh, yeah. Nullis, you're up. Wow. Uh, I'm just making a decision. There's no way I can reach Elvis, is there? I mean, you can get to Elvis. You'll probably take an attack of opportunity from their if, captain. If I, uh, I'm going to burn and disengage for that then. Oh, you can do that. Yeah. So you you can do that. Yeah. Speed five. You can get up there. That'll do. I'm yeah. So I'm gonna disengage because I'm like, it's all yours. <laughs> as you try and swing, the rogue is just too slippery and vanishes away from you. You swing to nothing, and as you all of a sudden apparate next to the undead, what are you mm -hmm. doing? I'm going to just take um, a eviscerate. I'm going to use a uh, finishing move. It's okay. A, Spending how many points? Um, guy. I'm gonna spend two points of eviscerate on this mm -hmm. one. Okay. Uh, for my first attack. Oh, I have advantage, don't I? Uh, you do yeah. right now because you're you're approximately. Do I also have advantage on a saving throw? Uh, yeah. on a saving throw, but this is to this attack is you. Making a healthy. Uh, so first attack now uh, is wow, that's amazing. What is that? A Three? a two and a th one. Yep. Okay, oh. so that's two plus <laughs> seven. <laughs> uh, that's uh, two plus six. <laughs> two plus six. So yeah, the first swing. Nothing. You don't spend the points yet. It's after you oh, hit. All right. Um, so the first swing, you just barely in the last minute hear this noise and duck out of the way, and yes. it swings wide, no impact. Second, oh, second spin, swing. So this is the offhand you're striking with here. Uh, second rapier. Uh, this one, this one technically does not have advantage because only oh, the first attack does. Then uh, so, try so, to re-roll so so re yeah. God, I'm rolling really poorly suddenly. That's cocked. No, that was cocked. That one's not cocked, and it's a 14. Oh, right, there you uh, go. So 14 plus six, that's 20. That does can I, hit. Can I can I spend my points on this one? You can. For an eviscerate, I'm just gonna I'm gonna lay into them. So let's. All right, uh, so that's, that's uh, four points. I'm gonna add uh, 46 to this attack. Ooh, correct. All right. 46 for this strike. Wow. So that's uh, that's six, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, uh, no, that's 21, because it's offhand. 21 points of damage as this rapier oh, just ahead, carves through ahead. your body from behind. Jeez. Jeez. Bastards. All righty. That finishes your turn, Nullis. Top of the round, Elvis. I'm going to blink. All right, so you just zoop, wink out of existence and Woo. appear anywhere within 30 feet. Where do you want to appear? Um, I want to appear... Uh, in the lava. Over here? <laughs> <laughs> Is that too far? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as you can get. Okay, I'll be ne I'll play next to Cap. All right. Um, I don't get an attack for opportunity. Not with Blink and no, teleport. That's fine. Oops. Sorry. So that's your bonus action. Okay, so that's my bonus action. So now I'm going to do 
Fire Blast once more. Okay. Oh, oh. This is your third and final second level spell. I will do Dragon's Breath on their captain. Mm. Um, so each creature, blah, 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 they must make a dexterity saving throw. So you get to make a dexterity saving with advantage because you're yep. next to the Azerite. So roll twice. Roll again. Oh. Mm. Uh, Eight, that's not enough. So you watch as yes. suddenly their undead mage appears before you, spins around, takes a deep breath, and <laughs> releases this gout of flame that sprays in your direction. So go ahead and roll your damage. 3d6, so six, five, Eleven. six. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 17, yes. 17 points of fire yes. damage to you. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes it's good what? to be yeah. undead. Where are you at? <laughs> 18. So you're, you're not down. Fine. All right. So you guys got one. Oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> but you lose the you lose the shard stuff. Oh, he loses the shard. The shard yeah, is shatters, the shard. shatters now off of off off oh, of the leg. Adrenaline. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> try and do this with him. All, All right. right. Uh, that finishes your turn. Uh, Unless you want to move still, still, but I think. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, you're okay there. All right. That finishes okay. Elvis's turn. Eddie, you're up. You just watched this uh, this mage appear and just flame breath your captain to within an inch of his life. Literally. Yes. They, are, they are now next to each other, so anything you have that has any kind of double range, you can hit both of them at the same time. I don't think time. I have anything with double range, though. Yeah, double check, but yeah. Could I, I, but I can't do both of these. Oh uh, yeah, I can. I you can? can? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. Can I <laughs> cast Damn. Flash of Light to captain? You may. Using first level to heal. Yeah, so go and ahead. And then, okay, we'll do it one at a time. Mm -hmm. Plus, Thank you. get your gross mm -hmm. ass dice off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So five. You heal five hit points. Yeah. Well, it's better than one. <laughs> yeah, it's better than one. <laughs> Feeling better. <laughs> and leave um, your bonus action still. Which is the hammer of justice that I'd like to. Saving through. Um, 30 feet. So, so can it target either of those two? You can pretty much yeah. target any of them. Except for the shaman, you couldn't. Just because of what you did to my captain, <laughs> I'm aiming for you. Okay. 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 So, uh, what's it say? It's just stunned until... Alright, so you have to make a constitution saving throw. Go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. Well, uh, wait, um, a creature you choose within range must make a constant. Yeah. yeah. So roll yeah. that. 10... Plus... 12. 12? What's the DC? Four. No, you are stunned. You Boom. watch as this giant divine hammer of light yeah, operates shoot. in the air above you, then slams down on top of your head. To one. Your world goes white and double vision, and you, you can't take any actions Catch or movement your next turn. You can still move, Austin. You can still move I can if you still want. move. Yes. I'm going to move myself right back up behind here. Alrighty. So, ending your turn, Eddie. You're up, Thodak. Okay, I'm already a little damaged too from my last deal. Um, you take three hit points. You add three hit points. You do gain three points. hit points because you're near there. the uh, yeah. near the totem. You are, you so you get your right at us. Oh, I am near the totem. Yeah, ah, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I got three. Okay, Very seventeen. Low. Okay. Um, however, so what do do now? however, he does take. 1d8 oh. shadow damage at the beginning. He does. Of the turn. That's right. So go ahead and roll 1d8. Oh, you take three points of shadow damage, so okay. it, it cancels the healing. Cancels the healing. Okay. Nope. I don't okay. learn you. But <laughs> my Azerite shard. My Azerite shard. You got oh, one yeah. too? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. you didn't know that, did you? Oh, you didn't know that. They found one on their adventure. If you would have well. been my buddy, I'd have told you. So I shove this sucker into myself. All right. Okay. Now what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so your speed has moved to 40 feet, so you can 40 move feet. further. So I, I am going to now. Uh, you know, I know. Even, I don't want to go too far. I'm going to get next to my. This is uh, uh, nice Ernest, man. right? Yeah. yeah. Erno, I'm, I'm moving over here to you. Can All I get right, right next to? Don't put in the lava. Yeah. yeah, I can't get in the lava. You can get right there. So as you're right sitting there. there, you watch as the hulking figure of Thodak starts charging up the side of the mountain, oh, axe in hand. Space off. I have dreamt of this moment for yeah. two and a half years. Well, you can only see it with one eye. <laughs> so now. Swig. <laughs> okay, oh. what do I get to do now? Uh, it's up to you. You have three, I, three I, rage I, left and you have two attacks. Three, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm attacking. I'm attacking. Go for it. So make your, make your attack roll. Do you want to use any of your rage? You do not, uh, you do not have advantage <laughs> because you Can I go? I, I can't get into a rage yet? Can I? Uh, well, you, you attack to see if you hit and then you can spend it. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Boom, boom. 12. Oh, yeah. 12 plus 7, that hits. 12 plus 7. 
Yeah. That hits. And Go ahead and roll yeah, damage. Yeah. So and this is damage. Come on. Five. Five, five plus yeah, four. It's yeah. nine points of damage. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you're, un- you're, unconscious. No, no. you're unconscious. You're not dead. So the captain falls to the ground, yes! unconscious Ooh. and bleeding out. So you still have. Uh, 30 feet of movement and another attack. Okay. Ooh. I'm jumping all the way over to Eddie. No. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm trying to take care of you eight. right now. I'm bringing well, uh, it all. Do we hit ball bearings at that I'm point? Fine. You uh, will actually make a dexterity ah! saving throw. Okay. With advantage, uh, because you have the shard in now. Be the I have the shard. I have the shard. <laughs> and dexterity. Three. Uh, one more. Roll again. One more. One more. You do have advantage because of the shard advantage. in you. Yeah, wow. that's it. That's, that's it. enough. <laughs> All right, your, your feet kind of slip and glide over ball bearings, but you managed to make it across. I tried. And get into it was range. Good. It was a good try. It was with good. it to do another strike if you'd like. I, I would love to do another strike. I mean, You're we're going down to the wire. I'm gonna <laughs> take you suckers out right now. <laughs> go Here we go. Is that our captain tried to be merciful? Is that 13? Yeah, 13 that's plus good. 7, 13. 20. That'll hit with your armor Damn class. Yep. You can spend it. rage or not if you want. I want to spend some rage, and, and we're gonna go with the. Uh, mortal strike. Mortal strike. So you spend two rage. Spend roll. Go two. ahead and roll your damage. Yes. Here we go. Come on, Come on, Come on. Cap. Ooh, that's oh, that's a twelve. Fifteen. Plus four. That is yes. nineteen points of damage to yes. you. Yes. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> and un- oh, until the end of your next turn, any healing you receive is halved. Ooh. What? Why? Because a mortal strike. That's, a mortal strike. Mortal strike. that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mortal oh, strike! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mortal <laughs> strike! Mortal strike! <laughs> Alright, so that's, I think your turn. Okay. Alright, throw dax on a Ritz, you're up. Ritz! Should I heal or attack? Okay, uh. Mm, how you feeling, Cap? Hang my side. Listen, listen. Cap's a little rough, <laughs> I'm a little rough. Um, okay. All right, but. Let's attack. We, we're, just, we're getting down to the wire. We're getting here. very down. He's, he's unconscious. All right. We're knocking one out. You gotta attack th- this guy. I believe rough. in you. All right. You gotta attack this guy. I'll listen. Rough. We gotta take the offensive now. I'm gonna use my last. I'm gonna come once again. Can I move this way and kind of still yeah. have an? Or would I have advantage on spells uh, for attacks? Only as long as you're adjacent to it. So you, if you move beyond uh, if I being move next. Here. There. Five, 10, 15. That won't kill it. And I. Three, this guy needs to go. Five, yeah, you can 10, do that. 15, but I, you 20, have 25, you to 25, 30. I think damage. they will hit. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn. I must say, time is money, friend. And I'm going <laughs> to. That's <laughs> it, Rich. I'm going to target you who's facing off against my captain first. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to chain lightning and hit the rogue. Right, what's the range on the chain lightning? 30 feet. Ah, it's in range. <laughs> so go ahead and well make it. Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, D twenty. Okay. Plus thirteen, one. fourteen. What's your DC? It's fourteen. So you make it. So you take half damage. That's good. So yes. Go ahead and roll your five d six. Oh my okay, god. Okay. Five d six. Five d six. All ones. Okay. <laughs> First one. Oh, six. Yes. Right. Second one. Two. So, so that's eight. eight. Third. One. Nine. Fourth. Three. Twelve. And last one, come on. <laughs> one. <laughs> Thirteen. So you take six one. points of, of lightning damage. You're still up. Okay. And uh, I need, uh, if Nullis can go ahead and make a constitution saving throw as it arcs off in your direction. Also with advantage though, correct? Uh, yes, because you are next mm-hmm. to the uh, Azerite. Thirteen. Thirteen is Hail under it, so you take mess. full damage on the arc. Okay. Ooh. First one. Six. Right. Did you minus one? Second one. Three. Nine. Plus two. Last one. Six. Six. six! Fifteen points of lightning damage. I'm out. Yeah! Oh, oh, last oh, man oh, standing. Oh, 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 the horn. Oh, 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 <laughs> five feet, man. Five feet would have done it. And five feet would have done it. The end of you so hard. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. so good. Someone was about to get kicked in the lava, man. I know. I know. It was gonna be risky. It was risky. Also, I think I still heal my three hit points too at the top of my turn that I didn't do. Right? Uh, takes good on our list. No, I was, you were just five. No, you would have been right there. Yes, yeah. so you, you regained three. Oh my god. You All right. Like, so that finishes oh, Ritz's turn. Arnos, you yeah. make a death saving throw. So roll a d twenty. Roll a d twenty. <laughs> oh, so that's the first failure. So go ahead and, and just mark off a failure. Nullis, I need you to make a death saving throw. <laughs> uh, that's a ten. It's a ten. All right, so that's, that's one success. All right. Uh, top of the round now, Elvis, you're up. I'm stunned. 
and you cannot move because oh. you are stunned by the hammer of, of justice. This is going to come down. So right. your turn's over, but you're no longer stunned. You're up. If and I'm going down, I'm tanking you down with me. Oh, I'm no. going. I'm going full attack. Can I use an extra attack as That's well? Yes, yeah, so you get two okay. attacks. Two go for attacks. It. And and you have advantage. You do. And advantage on the first attack because you're next mm-hmm. to the Azerite. So go for it. Roll twice and take the higher. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Let's die with some pride. Eleven. Eleven Again. plus six. That's seventeen. Your armor class is eighteen. It arcs off. No, no, you roll. Advantage, advantage. Oh, that's right. That's roll the first again. Roll. Go for it again. <sighs> Higher than eleven. One. Roll lower. Roll lower. Lower. Yep. No. 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 His homemade oh, armor. Wait, so that was yeah. advantage. Now you have one more time. And then one I have, more okay, time. yeah, yeah. So you roll one more time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Not over. I'm not out of the not woods over. yet. Not over. Oh my god. Come on, 20. <laughs> yes! Oh. Yes! Yes! This is not this is not the day for the alliance. No, the alliance <laughs> is going down poorly. Uh. Oh. Oh so it's two strikes. Was, was cool. Two strikes, Eddie. Uh, right, are you gonna stay where you are, or? It's gonna be my new name. Two strikes, Eddie. Uh, I. <laughs> See that? There's two strikes, Eddie. Going down. <laughs> <laughs> it used you, to be known. Good friends with the Ritz, yeah. ain't they? It used to be known as Eddie Darkhammer of Desolation, but not no. anymore. Two strikes, Eddie. <laughs> that's a, that's two a strikes, rename. Eddie. Uh, Whatever happened? I'm running Matt? away. Yeah, How far away. can I run? <laughs> you can run 25 feet. I'm gonna go. Oh, so you is it like? He will get an attack opportunity on you if you run, but it's. So that are I'm, stable. Will, I'm yeah. willing to risk that. Right. Uh, so how, like, if I want to get hidden behind here so that I can you, be you in some... You won't get that far. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're a dwarf I'm, co- stout I'm coming legs. over so here then. All right. Like, so, just, just, hide, right. just hide me. 15, 20. <laughs> you, can get, you can get about there. Yeah, you that's cool. Right. You do get one attack of opportunity against the dwarf as they run away, so go ahead and make an attack roll. I am, I am to. going to attack. I am. Where is the 20? This is it, right? Yep. I think yep. I broke my pinky finger punching the no. <laughs> no. What is that? Three. Three. Oh, nope. Shh. Arcs yeah. across the armor, no impact. I Eddie gets away from that. However, it is now your turn, Podak. I'm out of there. The dwarf just ran over that. Chaser. She's get her cow. I am. I'm chaser. I'm chasing her. All so right. I'm gonna run. I got thirty oh, actually, feet. Actually, maybe you should take your potion before you do that, because that's a bonus action, right? You think I should bonus action? That's up to you. Do that. How many hot points do you have? I'm, I'm only at fourteen. Yeah. Your call, Captain. Your call. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take, take the potion. I'm gonna take the potion. Okay. Or is the bonus action an extra attack? The bonus I think action. He gets an extra attack if, with the bonus action. No, he doesn't. Oh, you nope. don't? No, nope. then then do it. It. Yeah, then do All it. All right, for sure. so roll 44 plus four. So these are for oh, you. you so is he twice? still is he still next to me or did he not? I roll this is twice. Uh, well, we're, uh-huh. gonna, we're gonna find out. He's gonna drink the potion. He's gonna run towards you across the ball bearings. So Ready? Go for it. Yep. Boom. So that's five, and then you roll one more time. Okay. Four. four. So nine. So nine plus four, so 13. You heal up 13 hit points. Pretty good. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw again as you rush across those ball bearings that were dropped earlier by the rogue. That's the saving. With that. Uh, whoa, yeah, 15. That'll be enough. 15. That'll be enough. God damn it. Man, their luck in I your, know, this I is know, rough. It's just it. a yeah. It's kind Terry of absurd. Terry has beginner's luck, you guys. So, <laughs> so you rush I'm a around beginner. the beginner. <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh, so I rush. I'm here to provide drama. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and drama you have provided. As, as, as the hulking form of Thodak comes around the corner, axe in hand, you see the surprised look of Eddie going, oh, no. <laughs> uh, you have your attacks. I'm so sorry. No, come on. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry oh, at all. Come on. I swing as hard as I can with the oh. great axe <laughs> that I carved myself, and the burns are all on my arm, and I swing through it. Wow! Off with her head. Make an oh. attack. I mean. Come on, come on. You could have left me. Oh. You could have left my mom and over. Four. The 13. Four. And as he swings for the head, it strikes the armor and skitters off. Oh, Sparks flying. We gotta go, Eddie. We have one more attack. I want a kill shot. I'm going, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Come on, baby! One. Yes! 15 plus 7. Yes! Is two. That oh, hits. Boy. Go ahead and roll damage. Not gonna go well. Just do one. Come on, damage. Just do one. Six has Six. 10 points yep. of damage. Yeah, you're. I'm out. No! Ah, we tried to work with them! Yes. Alliance, you suck! <laughs> I get mean. I get mean. Standing. You were. Oh, no, you were. Oh. And you'll get your medal <laughs> planted firmly on your tombstone. <laughs> so, 
Having seen the Alliance fall before you, the, the elemental destroyed, the volcano has come to rest. The rumbling stop and the flow of lava comes to a trickle. Looking around you, you have these unconscious and bleeding out bodies of the Alliance. What do you choose to do? You are very compassionate, Captain. What do you think? I gave them a chance. I did. I gave you a shot. I said we could work together. We could share all of the spoils. She didn't want that. Now, you die. Ooh. And we get it all. I say, Ooh. they're gone. They're excellent. Kill them. One by one. One by and one. finishes the surviving Alliance no members. And with that, the rest of the Horde ship comes in behind, sets up deeper encampments, and begin mining the Azerite spoils <laughs> from the uncharted <laughs> island here. The Alliance captain lost. The ship is sent running back with word of the fall on the battlefield of Captain Arnost. And as that word, that, that missive, comes to the hand of the great Lady Jaina Proudmoore, she clutches it in her grasp and angrily mutters beneath her breath, oh, don't worry, Horde. Your vengeance will come soon and swiftly. And that's where we're finishing the adventure for today. Yeah! <laughs> that's what we get for having a drunk captain. There is <laughs>